でこっそり唱えるよ<笑> We're.Mm-hmm.Well,、mm-hmm. not updating it anymore. I think he can still use it. Maybe.Anyways, <coughs> we were talking about the Royal Groundhog. Yeah, you know, the thing that doesn't exist here in Australia. Like I was saying, like, Australia was isolated from the rest of the world, rest of the world for so fucking long. We have our own, like, animal species. So if there's an animal from another part of the world here, it's invasive. <laughs> like, like the fox or the cat.、Oh, not cat, the, um,、oh, yeah, we do have feral cats, but the rabbit and such. Oh. Yeah, they're fun to hear with golf clubs. And the funny thing is, no one cares that we do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I know some people, I know there's at least one group up in Queensland that's just、um, getting them, putting them into like bags, freezing them, and then melting them with nitrate to turn them into fertilizer. They're kind of funny looking. It's hilarious because the RSPCA don't even give a shit about them as well. <laughs> That should tell you about how bad of an invasive species they are. <laughs> It's like, how bad is it? Let me tell you this the RSPCA gives no shit. <laughs> how bad, huh? They're kind of big. I'd keep like them. Fun, fun to hit with a golf club. <laughs>、oh. Or a cricket bat. Or whatever blunt object you got. I'd keep one. You want to keep a cane? No, you w o n t No, you don't. No, you don't. They also make little fun popping sounds if you run over them. Ew. That's ew. I don't want a cane toad anywhere near my car. <laughs> don't worry, it'll be more near to the road afterwards. No, stop. Oh. Yuck. <laughs> Look at this big boy. They said they catch those and just put them in bags as well as some places and just freeze them, then melt them with nitrates. Fertilizer. Best use they've ever had for the old cane toad. I don't want to know how they die anymore, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, there's something cooler than those. Oh, what is it? Have you ever seen a African giant bullfrog? I don't like frogs. I don't want to see them. Why? I just don't. Actually, I just don't like frogs. I was about to say the cane toad has no like, natural preds here in Australia. That's incorrect. Apparently, the Australian, I think it was either crow or raven, hunts them. Like, it's a native Australian animal that hunts them by flipping them over. Just flips <laughs> them over and eats them that way to avoid all the poison. Thank you.、Oh, that's the crow, it's a crow.、Mm. Yeah, I wonder know, how they discovered, like, it's like,、uh, it was like, alright, how many of us had to die before we noticed this thing was poisonous? <laughs> Yeah, like I said, I love it. They just put it over and eat it. It's amazing. Beta <laughs> it's、like、frog. Chonky boy. Absolute unit. The only acceptable frog that Miss Sim might approve of is, uh. Hold on. Everyone knows she likes him. She likes him chonky. It's a.、Uh... I don't get it. <clears throat> I forgot to find、This、the music、one. again.、So、I promise next session we'll have new music to listen to. What, what are you sending?
Alright, uh... Is that like a sand frog? Uh, it's a, uh... Namaqua rain frog. It's, uh... Is, is that the very angry frog? Yeah, the squeaker. <laughs> I swear that they find new frog species every year. Like, that sand frog is... was a bit of a meme for a while. <laughs> Let's check it everyone's volumes. Oh, I'm gonna put you up, meow. Uh. Alright, everyone's Come on. Yeah, there's time. something your mom doesn't know about. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Are we ready to start? I'm ready. Y'all ready? Yeah, so yeah, I'm ready. ready. Yeah, I'm just gonna lower yours a bit more speedy because you're the loudest. Alright. Can Meow and M talk because oh. you guys are the lowest? I just did, but okay. Okay, that's loud, alright. M. She likes them chunky. Okay, you're, you're a bit still too low. Now keep talking, M. Hello, hello. My name. Connection terminated. Sorry to interrupt you, Elizabeth, if you still remember that name. But I'm afraid you've been misinformed. You are not here to receive a gift, nor have you been called here by any vigil, you assume. Although, you all have been called. You all have been called here into a lot of the sounds and smells, misdirections, and misfortunes. A labyrinth with no exit, a maze with no prize. You don't even realize that you are trapped. The lust for blood is driven you in the circles. Chasing the cries of children in un unseen chamber. Always seeming so near, yet somehow out of reach. But you'll never find them. None of you will. This is where your story ends. And to you, my brave volunteer, who somehow found this job list not intended for you. Although there was a way out planned for you, I have a feeling that's not what you wanted. I have a feeling you are right where you want to be. I am remaining as well. I am nearby. This place will not be remembered. In the memory of everything that started can finally begin to fade away, as the agony of every tragedy should. And to the monsters trapped in the corridors, be still. Give up your spirits. They do not belong to you. For most of you, I believe there is peace and perhaps more waiting for you after the smoke clears. Although for one of you, the darkest pit of hells is hope in this wall you hold. So don't keep the devil, the devil with you, old friend. My daughter, if you can hear me, I knew you would return as well. It is in your nature to protect the innocent. I'm sorry that on that day, the day you were shut out and left to die, no one was there to lift you up into their arms as you always lifted others. And then what became of you? I should have known you were not connected to disappear. Now my daughter. I could not save you then, so let me save you now. It is time to rest. For you and all those you've carried in your arms. This ends now. <laughs> Connection terminated. Okay. The mic. Your mic is fine. Your mic is Your mic is absolutely fine, sir. Oh, okay, good. Thank you. I didn't know what to interrupt you. <laughs> Okay, so I still have a little bit of a cough, but it's not as bad as last week. I have my voice back, and I, my throat is not inflamed. <laughs> Hooray! Wait, wait, wait. Hmm? Hold on. There's a, there's a proper thing. Yippee! After the D&D session yet last week, my, my throat was inflamed for a whole day. I couldn't speak. <laughs> it's okay. Alright, let's do this. Yay, alright. <coughs> I will cough, sir. I'm sorry. I just can't control it. I think it's my asthma now at this point. Okay, where are we? Blah, 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 blah. Uh, library. <coughs> and here we go. Oh, my God. Here. I was saying something the entire time, and it makes me really annoyed. 
All right, so I'm not on the main on um, other computers, so there will be background noise. But <coughs> oh, maybe I should drink. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna do my puffer. My ass for puffer. Wait. One minute. Is an asthma puffer the thing that, uh... Yeah, it's an inhaler. Asthma. Yeah. Use your spacer. It'll help. If you've got one. <laughs> Yeah, that. A spacer helps a lot with those. I, there was something they drilled into my head when I did first aid for my previous job. <laughs> oh shit, I need to refresh that. I should try looking into that once winter's over. Puffer. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it gives superhuman powers to those who doesn't have asthma. <coughs> yes, but only on the fourth fourth Tuesday of July, and when the moon's overhead in full. So, in other words, when the crazies are out. Whoa! It's the Queen of Britons. Bodica. Not as cool as her. Descendant? I think? I'm sorry, I had to get my asthma puffer. Alright. Are we still here? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Yep. Maybe. Alright, let's start this. Is the stream going? Yes, stream is <clears throat> up. Alright, so Hi, chat. Be... Chat not here yet. Hello, chat. I can't see you. <laughs> but, uh, hope it should be up. Well, I haven't streamed for Why is a Miss... Week. Why is Miss misspelled? It's a mystery. <laughs> what do you mean it's misspelled? <laughs> Why don't you ask her when you get the chance? <laughs> Alright. Alright. Hey, are you related to famous VTuber Miss M? Shut Little up. Miss Midnight. Hmm? I'm on this one now. I'll use this one this <coughs> week. I'll use yours next week, bro. Okay. Bro. So. Our third session begins us at the library. Where, after doing some, I say, a little research of the founder, the books have come to life. And we will begin battle immediately, if if I hear no contradictions. Okay. Uh, I just want to say this is all taking place within a day. Yep. Seems normal. It's normal We have me. somehow nearly killed two students. No. Yeah. We haven't. One person has. Well, nearly killed a student. Killed a student. One another student nearly bled out. <laughs> nearly we killed a student. Goblins. We fought I goblins. haven't killed him yet. We fought goblins. In which nearly two people died. <laughs> <clears throat> the, and don't, now don't remind me out that uh, the student who tried to kill is still alive. He's gonna hunt him down later. The dude, for real, for real. I, I want to see that guy die, dude. <laughs> and still, we now have to, uh, and it's later in the day when we have another fight. I'm going to roll initiative. Uh, where it is. There we go. Hold on, let me get eyes add you to the, don't roll, don't roll yet, don't roll. I gotta do some GM stuff. I don't know. Gotta break the game, guys. Oh, gotta break the game. All right, gotta roll initiative now. But I got a sixteen. Oh, bad luck! You should have waited. 
How come that didn't work? I got a 20 this time. Alright. Why is it? Okay, it's still not updating, so I'll just type it myself. Alright, fine, I'll give you 16. Okay. Uh, I rolled 20 this time! Oh <laughs> my lord! <laughs> Meow got 17, so pretty good initiative on everyone. 23. <laughs> Who has enrolled? I don't get to. Alright, this should be an easy match. I am Speedy Gonzalez. Doop -doop. No. No, you're just a common thief. Still. See, when I roll initiative on the monsters, it automatically <clears throat> updates. I, I am, uh. It's because you're the GM. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, I am God, that's right. I, I am a theft enthusiast, so. <laughs> I'm God. Okay. I'm God. God. Okay. Can I have a Can I have a magic girl? A magical nuke? I already gave you a magic missile. <laughs> you can Good enough. <laughs> You're level two. Good enough. You already got it. <laughs> Good enough, I got what I wanted. Alright. Let me just this ascending? Okay. So, you guys handle those, uh, whatever it is down there, <coughs> and me and Meow, we're gonna sneak to the side rooms, find any good booties to steal. Oh wait, hey, there's two treasure chests here! I, uh, considered you guys like stealing treasure, so I will include some treasure segments from time to time. Yo! <laughs> yo, 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 Because yeah, I have some players that would like the story, and some people like to steal treasure, so I'm gonna do my best to balance that out. Mm. Yo, meow, you, you're looking at the map there. Two treasure chests right next to that. Yo! Okay, uh, okay, oh. Uh, we're uh, splitting 50 50, all right? Uh, we'll take I... care of the two mobs in front of us and try and distract that third okay. mob. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's begin. So um, let me describe the scene first before you guys start to steal treasure. So we're in the library and Speedy and Nagi, you already the bookshop because the last session, um, Speedy, you were holding the book and it came to life in your hands, correct? Yes, and I slammed it shut. <laughs> yep. And then my two kleptomaniacs over there in the corner stole it back from a student. And um, and and There's... pretty much they did, you guys are aware, you guys saw the bookshop shaking and um don't worry the books are sort of attacking students but i like i sort of like to remind you all that um the goal for this one is to try and escape i don't mean to worry you but uh there's like get... two different tracks going on right now is there two different tracks uh yeah they're both playing <laughs> oh oh sorry my bad i'll fix that there Thank you. But yes, um, I would highly suggest not to stay here for too long. So, Takemi, it, is your, it is your first up now. What would you like to do? Remember on your turns, you don't always have to attack. You can hide, steal, use an item, talk. Um, you know, get as creative as you possibly can because it helps me to uh, help make the battles more exciting. All right, now, <coughs> keep him busy. Time. Oh, you will uh, go and take the treasure? Come on! <laughs> that, uh, uh, I mean, you might spell, the axe is all the way on the other time. side of the map. <laughs> uh, time manipulation ain't to level 5. Uh, it's 5th level spell. <laughs> I'm like, we're Trust only me, just I know. level 2! <laughs> you guys just got disengaged! Like, uh, Alright, what are you gonna plan to do with that stealth? Uh, M. Those are two <coughs> proper treasure chests, right, mister? <laughs> you're not, you're not going to jip us on there? <laughs> uh... <laughs> I need to know what you want to do with the stealth rolls. Alright, now I'm going to keep busy, I'm going to try and open the chest. Alright, so you would like to open the chest <coughs> already, I knew this would happen. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, there's like one. I'll be standing in between both of them. <laughs> oh, you can guys. still only open one. One action. Oh, so dude. you guys can. Are you? Even though I'm saying the main goal of this one is to escape, you are feel free to explore the library when you believe it is safe to do so. <laughs> All right. Uh, 
Uh, <coughs> okay. <coughs> the left box. The left box. Yep. Are you sure you just want to open it straight away? No, I'll use insight. <coughs> insight, please roll insight for me then. Nat one. That's a nat. Already nat. with yeah. already nat. with the initiatives. <laughs> First so, session. So you so and you notice on the left the left treasure chest has some sort of lock on it. And something else on it as well. Not just the lock. What, it's got teeth? <laughs> <laughs> Take it with you. <laughs> Don't give me ideas. She's gonna mess with you now. Like uh, in future <laughs> chapters, you realize that. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> so yeah, it definitely has a lock and something else. Come on, I wrote a nat twenty inside. I should be able to see everything. <laughs> All right, there's also something attached to it. Some sort. It's a bomb. <laughs> Something mechanical. So it's got a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> you think I put a bomb in a library? <laughs> Maybe <Yes>. next session. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no you one does. <laughs> nah, man, we haven't invoked the curse enough for it. The bomb starts spawning on uh, us uh, yet. Come on, guys, I won't kill you just yet. <laughs> uh, how big is the treasure box or chest? Uh, please roll perception for me, and I'll tell you. <coughs> Twelve. Um, are you gonna? It's a relative. Oh, how do I explain this? I didn't think of this. Just your average. Can you pick it up with one arm? Two. You can. You can pick it up. You can definitely pick it up if you have the strength for it. You can definitely pick it up. But because there's something mechanical and a padlock on it, I suggest I wouldn't do it. You, uh, we can tell it's a big heavy chest if you need a uh, high speed. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Uh, I inform Meow that the chests have locks and a <coughs> mechanical device attached to them. Alright, go ahead, tell him that. Yo, Meow. <laughs> you, uh, you want to try lockpick this? Did you well, say I was going to distract them? <laughs> well, Did meow, you meow. say I was gonna be a sacrifice? Yeah, but I never said sacrifice, I said distract them, but since uh, it requires lockpicking... That's two cool books on me! Two! <laughs> <laughs> You're yeah, just okay. looking at the chest! <laughs> little meow meow, little guy. Hey, hey, I, I can... Oh wait, no, I can't move yet. You can't move and you already done your action. <laughs> I will now move to a Leo if you're done, M. Uh, just you stop me, I'll get your ass over here. <laughs> okay. All right, and I'm done. <laughs> okay. What a useless e e ass. <laughs> Damn rogues. <laughs> hey, there are two lockboxes there. Wouldn't you go for that while everyone's distracted? Who said there's only two? You want me to use persuasion on you and, like, <laughs> force you to stop? Um, as much as I would like that, Leonardo, you're very far. You're. This, have you, have you seen yeah, the map? Yeah, can he actually be like on disadvantage because I probably can't hear him at all? Yeah. yeah. If, he, if he decides yeah, to do that, that yes. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, it's a good chance you're not going to get that disadvantage. <laughs> okay, Leonardo. I would like to use this thing. Um, okay, let's go read Magic Missile. Yeah, I, I know it never misses, but, uh... Exactly. It never misses. <clears throat> okay, so you deal 1d4 plus 1 force damage to the target. And is that Except three? there's three of them. There's three yeah. of them, so pretty much you, um... Just keep an eye on your slots, though. If you do use Magic Missile, you only have two slots left until we get a long rest. Yeah. Alright. Uh, Actually, uh... 1d4 three times. Like yes. 1D4, 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 1D4. Pretty much, yes, it will. Oh, so make sure you pick who you are aiming for. 1d4 three times. So I'm gonna... 
Okay, so seven damage in total. I don't put this. Wait, uh, uh, plus one. <laughs> plus so one on three. each. Wait, wait, let them So speak. one dart is three damage. One dart is two damage, and one dart is five damage. Yeah, the thing is, are you aiming all at one, or are you aiming at three separate mobs? Uh, I think they are probably quicker. I think the two in front of us. Okay, so where do you want your first magic missile to go? And is there a spell save? DC of 13. And uh, is... I don't think there's a spell save at all. There is, 13. Really? Where? It's at the bottom of the description. The bottom of the description. Oh. And the saving throw for these guys is a dexterity. So, I think it's, isn't that right? If it says saving throw dexterity, I click that. It has to, it's a saving throws. Yeah. Okay. All right, so you aim the magic missile at the first book and because it's such a lightweight book, it's actually a comic book, it's a manga. So it just flatters away, <laughs> does, a, does a little circle in the air, complete, like, it it misses, it, even though Magic Missile says it never misses, somehow the book did, so. Yeah. Flash stepped. Well, it's manga. Like, it's manga, it that. has protagonist protection. Woo! I think uh, what it means by a spell save is it, although it Well, maybe it takes hit. less damage? What do you reckon? It the damage completely. Okay, yeah, because that makes sense more better than, huh? Yeah. So how much, so, so you can but say this... it's like fizzles out before it hits the target. Yeah, so it doesn't, so it still doesn't go through, I would just have to say it fizzles out or something. Yeah. I would just say the power of manga protects him and he gets no damage, no scratches at all. Would you like to try, uh, use your second magic missile? <laughs> Damn anime I'll bullshit. Do, uh, <laughs> I'll use my, both of my missiles on this, uh, singular book. The same one? I want it dead now. <laughs> You wanted to, you don't like manga, I see, okay. Nah, it said it had protagonist status. I need to <laughs> fix that. <laughs> Very well. So, describe So it needs to say it more times. Yeah, go describe it. How you wanna aim your magic missile. Classic what? finger guns, except there's two finger guns now. Well, somehow the With two uh, hands. the addition of another hand still just doesn't. It hits the book, but it does no damage whatsoever. He opens one more. <laughs> one more. It is the um. It failed. Hey. It takes five damage. Wait, no, hang on, hang on. Um, apparently, it does take uh, damage. I believe it. No, no, no. Uh, spell DC save is eight plus your proficiency bonus, plus intelligence modifier. This is an NPC. Yeah, the NPC will still follow the same rules. Tell me again. Can you type it to me and I'll... Yeah, uh, hang on. Uh... Where is it? <laughs> yeah, people in the chat, yeah, you can tell we're still not all over the ins and outs of this thing. <laughs> I'm yeah, still uh, learning spell DCs. <laughs> yeah, I'll put it in the chat so everyone can see. So they can use it. <coughs> I don't know if we have an audience, but... No, no, like, it's in Discord, so you can just pin that. Ah, oh, okay. Alright. DC plus your proficiency bonus. What is it? Uh... Well, I guess a book doesn't really have a proficiency bonus. Proficiency bonus. bonus. It's, um, above your, um, like, saving throws thing. Yeah, so it'll be... Like, for, it should be next to, like, arm class initiative speed. Okay, so this book me, has... Alright, yeah. okay. So... Uh, wouldn't it be charisma because of my, uh, spellcasting modifier? No, 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 uh, it's not for you, it's for the target that you're hitting. If there you have a spell saving throw, this is how you check that. So, it's up. automatically an 8 plus the proficiency bonus, so it always starts at 8? Yeah, 8 is base, so that won't change. Okay, so it's a nine, uh, because uh, I, don't, I shouldn't tell us, but this guy has no proficiency bonus and he has an intelligence of one because it's a book. So it's, <laughs> it's nine. Yeah, so if that's the case, then I will ignore the rolls I had here. And I would say he doesn't survive, but then he's... Oh, the the, the first one was a 20, though. I think you should say that one. Yeah, okay, so the, yeah, the power... Uh, give it 
we'll give the book that. Uh, but the thing is, uh, it will still do the damage of whichever one he picks. It's just mm -hmm. uh, depending on the HP of the book. So if he chooses that two, that will be the two plus one. So that will be a damage of three onto the book. Oh, so he gets to pick what not which one he yeah, wants. Yeah, like cool goes to which book. Okay. So, all right, Nagi, which one do you pick? Uh, the one in my cardinal direction. Okay. And how much damage are we making this guy take? I get to pick any of my numbers, right? Yeah, any of those three numbers, you get to pick one of. All right, then I'll take this one. The four. The plus four? One. Plus yeah. one. And then he needs, he, does, he has a spell save DC of a nine. So that goes through. Yep, which means it'll take nine points, uh, sorry, five points of damage. Alright, so as long as his numbers are what? I'm, it's gonna take a while, I'm gonna ask the same question again if it gets through. Oh, that's fine. Uh, you'll learn. I think I'll just keep the ice knives. No, we're gonna <laughs> learn. No, no, like, keep going. I mean, like, uh, this is a learning experience for all of us as well. So. Yeah. 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 Okay, so you use your magical missile. I'm going to describe it as a blinding light, a bowl of blinding light. You raise your hands up and then you just like throw it down because you don't like this manga protection protagonist thing that he has. This manga book is having and you've done a significant amount of damage. <laughs> Five points of damage on this book. I just hope my Mario Brother Librarian doesn't sue and you know sue you guys for damages on her books. Hey, hey these books are attacking us. It should be us not doing this. Self defense. <laughs> Self defense. <laughs> All right, Neko, what would you like to do? Okay, um. I'm gonna move to the left box, if yeah, that's alright. Can I, like, sneakily move there with stealth? Yeah, you have to roll stealth first. Yeah, I have to roll oh, stealth okay. first. But that will be your action, so you won't be able to attack or do anything. Yep, so, um, I would say you you didn't get there as quickly as M did, be a, not as crazy excited as Treasure like he is, but you did make it there safely, and you're now in front of the left treasure box. No, no, the right one, the right one. Uh, right, sorry. Right. Well, no, um... no. Wait, which one did yeah, you want? Yeah, I already picked the left one, so the right one is the only one that's free. Well, it's up to him, he, it's because you oh, know what true. the left one is, doesn't mean he has to go to the right one. Didn't you ask me to pick the left one? I asked you to pick the locks of both. <laughs> but then I'll have to, I'll have to be in your way. You're gonna make him do all the work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and wait the rewards. He doesn't know that yet. <laughs> Hello, I'm right here. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, um... Uh, thieves can't. <laughs> insulting each other, oh. thieves can't. <laughs> you know what? The two guys of this sit. It's the two guys. These two. <laughs> um, can I, can I pick the lock with, um, like, my thieves tools? Yeah, you can. It doesn't that count as an action? You already rolled stealth. Uh, yeah, so you'd have to do it. Uh, yeah, it does. Alright, I would say you're now that you're in front of the chest, you're preparing to open it, but you can't open it just yet. You can tell you you grab your thieves tool and prepare. Because of, uh, Use plot insight. reasons. Plot reasons. Yeah. Like, uh, I would say use your insight to just make sure that you're not in any monster's line of sight, so that you're safe to pick the lock. Oh wait, but isn't that like an extra uh, action? No, like insight and all that uh, doesn't take an action swap, I don't think. Oh, okay. Uh, am I allowed to do that? I will Miss? allow it. I will allow it. I see okay. no harm so in I'm it. Roll insight. Okay, so, you, so just like M, you know there is a padlock and also something else mechanical attached at the lock, but you... Oh no, um, sorry, the insight is to, like, observe oh. if I'm in the oh, sorry. monsters... That would be perception, sorry, perception. Yes, perception. Oh, perception, alright, my bad. No, that's okay. Uh, hold up, perception then. Alright, you 20. notice the book to your left that's 10 feet away from you. Uh, it seems like it could attack you at any moment, so I, I, it's up to you if you want to prioritize the treasure chest or the book. Um, uh, can I. Am I allowed to use cunning action to hide? 
Cunning action is only for disengage, hide, and something else. It's movement. So just like example, example, you're in front of an enemy. You can say, I want to use cunning action to disengage. So the, the a monster can't attack you as you're escaping. Because you guys are wrong, you have that option. Any other okay. class will have the thing twice before they escape the attention of an enemy. Speaking of, uh, Valheis, it's now your turn. Yeah. Uh, I've still got that book in my hands, correct? Yeah, you're yes. holding it. It's up to you if you want to release it or, um, I don't know, t keep it in your hands, but you yeah, want to... I mean, playing on re reading it later. <laughs> Don't worry me out, I got a, I got you. I got a cardboard box. Uh, so you're still holding the book shut. Yes. Yeah, uh, <laughs> what would you like to do with the book? Uh, keep it for now. I was planning on borrowing it before everything All right, do came to life. Do you have something to keep it shut? Uh, this book had I've got information right. on the founder. Okay, so yeah, that's... Sheer willpower. Um, could you roll strength to see if you have enough strength to keep it shut with your rope? Oh, fuck. Is that the reason you clicked the right one? Is that strength save, right? Yeah? Yeah, I clicked on strength save. So, as you were uh, trying to keep this book shut, because you had two, you have you both your hands trying to keep this force of a book closed, um, because you need to know it, because it has information on the founder, but somehow, because you, your hands are literally, not literally, tied up, um, you try to reach the rope, and then you had one hand free, and like, oh shit, and then the book is out of your grasp. And it's that, oh shit, I don't it. It's now in front of you. Sweet talk it. Maybe it won't attack you. <laughs> <laughs> you were unsuccessful to keep it enclosed, and now it's joined the battlefield. Great. <laughs> God damn it. I needed that. Well, more EXP. <laughs> I mean, I could always try, you know, wrangling it again. <laughs> I mean, you can. As it's been shown, I've had more luck barehanding stuff so far. Wait, I mean, oh. and who's, who's saying you had to fight every book? Maybe you could persuade a few books? Who knows? Wait, uh, before we continue, I, do, I just have one question. With your uh, your ice shard spell, did you use all three shards or just one? It's a magic missile. Oh, yeah, sorry, your magic missile. Because uh, it breaks up into three shards. You can attack three targets? No, that that's not how that works. You create three glowing darts of magical force. Each dart hits a creature of your choice that you can see within range. A dart deals 1d4 plus one force damage to its target. The darts all strike simultaneously and you can direct them to hit a creature or several. Yeah, so you can attack three times. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say before. You can attack three times. Well, I think the first one failed anyway because of the 20, but the other two... Yeah. You're confusing it with, uh... My ice knives. Uh... Yeah, no, uh, your magic missile, the little description there says, uh, you create three darts. You create three attacks. Ice shard is one big attack plus shard damage, AoE shard damage. Your magic missile is essentially you have three magic missiles. You can attack with it three times. For the price of one spell slot, you use three attacks. Want know something? What? Uh, the max damage I can do to a uh, with an ice knife is ten. Uh, no, twenty-two damage. That's not bad. What the? That's more than what I could probably do. <laughs> well, these guys are just stealing stuff, so I don't know how much damage you can do, really. All right. So anyway, Speedy, uh, you try to grapple the book and it failed with rope. What, do, what is there anything else that you'd like to do? Can I try persuading it to uh, come how back? You, how are you gonna persuade a book? <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Well, I guess you can try. <laughs> Seduce the book by saying you'll read it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, people. There's something I need you to know. Nobody. I, how many people actually have come around to read you? I, I really needed you, and I was about to read you before everything went down. So, 
if you could just play nice, I could pay, take you along, take you out of the library, you know, get you into some nice sunlight so it's not in the musky library, and hey, I can read, do some reports, and you get to actually you be used as a book. Well, persuasion. <laughs> I think it's a thing like, hey, baby, I can read you from cover to cover. Straight, that's fine. <laughs> The book is touched by your words, and he has indeed hasn't been read in a while. And if he has, he hasn't been treated to the sunlight under the shady tree and the, the breeze of the summer or flat again, go, caressing against his pages. It doesn't seem like it's going to attack you, but I don't think it's going to be friends with you quite yet. <laughs> Let's say you, you got his attention. He, he won't do any harm to you just yet. <laughs> um, uh, I am ready to step into a guard, Sir Leo, just in case. Alright. <laughs> persuading a book, I love it. I love it! Alright, now it's time for- I'm persuading for... a book. This is seducing a book. Now this book, um, is this showing the ping? <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Okay, so the book over here, the one that you seem. <laughs> yep. Is the book jealous? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. It looks per, 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 per. He is, um, this book is, um, he's, it's actually a textbook, so he's kind of big and chunky. He's, a, he's an expensive textbook that you probably read only for that one class at the beginning of the year. Anyway, here's a little line. He finds it weird that a book is getting nearly persuaded by a false dream. He's like, oh, I've been there before. And he's like, I don't believe his words, kind of that attitude. <laughs> so... He goes and like he's gonna aim at the frail little white boy, and he's just gonna hope he. I had nothing to do with this. <laughs> You're the closest one. You're only five feet away. So the book <laughs> opens up. Opens to one of those pages. No, no, no we're uh, equal distance. <laughs> I should have gone with the fence, like guarding <laughs> safe. I could have actually given you. If it given made it roll disadvantage. Well, he, oh, no. he you look like his last owner, and he didn't treat him very well. So he's gonna open up, flip the pages, and he's gonna spew out literally literal letters as he's attacking you. For a second, I thought you were gonna say slapped him with the pages. <laughs> this runs up and slaps. And so there are literal letters from the book coming to attack you. And I believe it hits. And so mm -hmm. you, um, I try to take a half step. half my HP. <laughs> and, um, it. It does, these letters are very big and they're coming from an expensive textbook and so you, you take the brunt of the hit and take five slashing damage. I'm restraining myself <laughs> from using a firebolt. I mean at this point perhaps he should. <laughs> now Miss is behind you and sees this and is like, what? There's letters coming out of the box! Oh, so <laughs> I'm not reading these books! And then she decides perhaps it's best if we get this done quickly and um, she tosses a firebolt at the book that just attacked you. Brutally <laughs> attacked me, mind you. And brutally with the power no of, with the power you. of I can literacy! You. I can heal you, don't worry. <laughs> okay, it doesn't have an... okay. All right, and if she raises, she moves her arms back and then just pushes her arm forward. Fire fireball right, right at the book that attacked you, and um, he takes Yeet. he takes an easy eight fire damage. Right. Now is the, the book on fire now? The book is indeed on fire. I will allow that. Uh, where's that symbol? Uh, oh yeah, fire, there we go. I don't know if you guys see it. And he will take one... Uh, now I'll say he'll take two burning damage at the end of his turn, which was now, so I will do that too. 
Okay, so, mm, all right, my, my rogues, there's the books. I've seen what you're doing, and I don't like that you're aiming for treasure. Well, they don't like that you're... So, it must hey, be... Hey, hey. We are stealth, so the books can't... Well, I'm stealth, so the book can't see me. <laughs> Yeah, you got 22, remember? True, that's right. <laughs> well, I would say even Necker rolled a D. Did he roll 12 on stealth? Uh, yeah. I, I did. I did roll a 12 on stealth. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so you'll be like a little shimmer to them. Yeah. Oh. So, okay, there is a little shimmer, like M said. So the book is going to move 25 feet, but doesn't attack you, but you've got... He got his attention is on you, Neko. Oh, because you're the shimmering, and that will end his turn there. The other book is gonna stay where he is. And where is this last one? Here we have here. Okay, now back to the the trio there. His one is gonna. He got hit by the magic missile from Nagi and doesn't like that too much. So, he's gonna move behind this one here, and he, me, that ass head. he's gonna open, he's a manga book, remember, so he's gonna, open, he's a little bit lighter, a little bit smaller, and he's just gonna like, um, uh, and he's gonna also use cut attack. He's gonna try and paper cut, speedy. Uh, that's 18, correct? Correct. Uh, yeah, I've got 16 on armor class. And uh, I forgot to mention that these books also have an advantage while they're together. So he's gonna, I'm gonna, he's gonna, I gotta roll again because that was not advantage. And so he opens the book to one of the probably the climaxes of the manga chapter, and he's gonna fly manga frames right at you, black and white, grey and all over. And Damn, that the scene must have been mid. <laughs> <laughs> That's 22.22 and... 4 damage. That is an easy 4 damage to our Paladin uh, here. Damn. Uh, I can take that, it now. Ooh, that, uh, that stings. That climax <laughs> was a bit mid probably, considering how much damage it did. <laughs> it's only the first volume, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Can't blow your lead on the first bit, chapter. You guys excited uh, in that? Okay, to Kemi, it is now your turn again. You're in front of two treasure chests, and there is one book that's caught your you guys' attention, but no attacks have been landed yet. How about you guys do something and stop being useless? We are to... distracting these three books. That's something. Uh... If you don't fight, you're not getting EXP. I mean, there's also like non-combat EXP for doing specific things, right? <laughs> yeah. You can still level up with that combat. It's but shit. It all on what, um, <laughs> side, how we level. Well, uh, I mean, so far I see no reason not to give you EXP, but I can't let you guys like not do anything. You know what I mean? Like, shit. Yeah. yeah. No, just stop that. And you you'll like perhaps <laughs> focus on the right chest. Well, no, no. Uh, yo, oh. meow. Uh, they're on to us. Either you take the left, I'll take the right, ghost. We'll try and dispatch them ASAP, and then we'll come back to the chest. Uh, Alright, I got you. Alright, so the one on the right, what direction is it facing? Uh, which one? The one you're 15 feet away from you? Yeah, he's still... Right. He's facing into your direction, but he's not looking at you, because you rolled a stealth, remember? So but he's facing you. I'll move behind him, which is 25. Yes. So that's safe. Do, 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 do. Ah. <laughs> Let me move you, asshole. Uh, which means I can attack at advantage. Yes, you can. Well, how would you Aim like to... the spine! How would you like to do this? <laughs> I like to caress the books with my fingers. <laughs> 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 I was like, hey, baby. <laughs> that's, that's literally what's holding it together. Aim for the book spine. 
I worked in a library. I know these things. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, no, no. Uh, I will use a short sword, and while it's uh, facing the other way, I'll stab it straight through the spine. You don't have a short sword, though. I do. He does. Oh, wait, which, I wait, have. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I was the only one without a short oh, sword. Yeah, yeah doesn't have oh. his weapon. I said on mine. I wasn't looking at the. I was looking at the board for a second. Alright, so that one and. Advantage. Yes, and an an eleven. Let me double check that for you. <laughs> okay. So, um, you roll an eleven, and you bring out your short sword and aim for the spine of the book, hopefully to rip it into half and get this over and done with. But as you do, your dagger gets halfway through the book, and the book notices your attention, and he's uh, shaking you to let go of your short sword. Uh, but unfortunately, not enough dam. You have not cut through enough to get through to him, and there's no damage taken. But he's now facing you, so congratulations. Hey, baby, I can caress that spine and make it feel better. And uh, since it can't talk, all, it, to all it does, all it does is like <laughs> flip through this. Its page is from left to right, really furiously. <laughs> Something like that. Hey, hey, hey calm down. Let's, we can talk it out. Oh my god. <laughs> Leonardo, it's your turn. You got hit by a nasty, uh, you got a dose of um, letters, I suppose. And um, You got you the know, alphabet suit treatment. Yeah, pretty much. What would you like to do? I think, I'll, uh, I, think I can go back one and cast uh, another or Hmm. I could dash to the exit. You don't have enough feet. You have uh, an axe of 30. So, if I understand how dashes work... Are you literally gonna dash and leave your teammates here? Dashes are double the distance. Yeah, so it will be 60 And they feet. take a full action. Takes a full action. Uh, hmm. I'm not leaving without this book. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and the guys are not leaving without treasure, so. I mean, S Speedy persuaded a book, so why can't you? <laughs> yeah, just uh, sweet talk it. Caress the book. Chew. Rob the pages. I'm probably the one who's the most likely to do it. <laughs> yeah. Rob's a natural one. <laughs> Boom. Uh, it's the one that's right in front of me that I need. <laughs> yeah, I'll give it a special marking so everyone knows. Hmm. Do I persuade the manga? <laughs> <laughs> the one that I have a vendetta against. Do you persuade or do you dash out of the library? I mean, who knows? Maybe it gets better in later volumes. <laughs> you know, one of those uh, it gets better type deals. Oh my god. Hmm. It's tempting. Alright. I guess I'll persuade the All manga. Right. Persuade the manga. How would you like to persuade the manga? You know what? Everyone deserves a chance. Maybe I should also give you one too. Where is my time? 22. Oh my god! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you have somehow Sweden talking this manga and he's he, he's flapping his pages very, I, I don't know, happily that, yeah, I don't know how to describe that, but it's just moving left and right. There's a little little twirl in the air, and it's just like, yeah, all right, all right, I'm down for this. And I told you, I <laughs> have he... the highest persuasion. I'm still waiting for the natural one. Um, <laughs> and he will not attack any of your allies the next turn, and I will put this. I have made Neko my bitch. <laughs> to him failing, so many persuasion. No. Uh, due to him failing so many persuasion checks against me. 
right. Speaking of Neko, it is now your turn. Okay, um, is it, where is Neko this just like facing? not facing? Okay, Neko he, just no longer the sway. He's facing, if anymore? you see my pink arrow, he's facing down. Uh, okay, so can I like sneak behind it and then uh, sneak attack? Yes, you can. Rogues okay. always have sneak attack if you're next to a friend or you're attacking from behind or if they don't see you. Uh, I still have to roll stealth, right? I no. would... no. It's not fair. No. It's just once you take action, your stealth breaks. So even if you fail, uh, your stealth will be off. And you have to re-stealth. Re, oh, re okay. So I can just move directly here, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna use my dagger then. Yep, go for it. And um, so you you bring out your dagger from your waist, from your pocket, and you waste no time at all, and you just like get into those books, and um, you rip, <laughs> you shred a few pages. Add it right into it. You shred a couple of important pages. This was um, sadly a children's picture book, so they can't tell the story now. They better. <laughs> and you do six piercing damage, and there's some <laughs> obvious damage now to this children's picture book, um, but it's still floating, still in the air. Yeah. All right. And it's now the kids will never know. <laughs> now they're gonna draw their own ending. What a shame. I was supposed to roll okay, the um... engine. So now can I use a hide action since it it um it obviously knows that I'm there. No, uh, cause you you already used your action to attack. So how how a turn? Oh, but like the um, the cunning action though. Yes, you can. Your cunning action is to disengage, hide, or dash. You cannot use. You cannot attack with it. Yeah. So um. If I were to choose hide, can I like move to like a certain like a small area, or yeah. do I just hide at the area that I am? Uh, if you use hide, you re-roll stealth check. Yeah. So if, you, uh, okay. if you succeed on that, uh, you sort of lose interest in. Yep. Yeah. And also it depends okay, on the area, then. which the library is a good place to hide. Like, I'm not, for example, you can hide in the library because it makes sense. You can hide behind a bookcase or a statue, but you can't use hide on a beach that's just sand and water. You know what I mean? Yeah, you can. Yep. You just the hole in the sand. Okay, smart ass. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, uh, so I'll have to re-roll stealth, right? Yes, uh, yes, please. Okay. Um, again. I would say you nearly succeeded. Um, I would say that a fail because the book is uh, now focused on him. Yeah, and he, so you didn't. So you try to um, jump into the library um, shelves behind you, and in, ho in some hopes that you could fit in one of the the bookshelves area to fit a cat as your your size. Well, but it didn't work very well in the book has attention on you, confused on your silent actions to hide in the bookshelf of all places, um, but yeah, it, it's still, attention is still on you. But good so, try uh, hiding. Yeah, so, you see the monster in the middle there, where my arrow is on? Uh, that, yep. monster, that monster will lose track of you, but since this one is facing you, uh, it will see where you're going. Yeah, because... Oh, okay. Of, yeah. Okay. I'm sure, uh... And what I rolled it. on the book was my charisma check and my normal charisma. My persuasion, I had it rolled the same thing, but it has a higher modifier. Oh, it's still be the same thing. Yeah, but it's funny it's... though. <laughs> it's no, comical. No, we'll change it. The book gets wet at your touch. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, Stevie, your turn. <laughs> Balheis, please save this session. Saxon oh. Hale. Saxon, hey, what would you like to do? I'd like to try and persuade the book once more to go with me, because uh, I kind of still need it for them. Um, okay, so your persuasion from last turn worked. If you succeed this one, I would classify it that it'll be happily to go with you. So please r say your speech and we'll roll persuasion afterwards. Yeah. So something strange going on, is going on here. I feel like there's something tied to the founder. And hey, right now, 
You're the most knowledgeable one about the founder right now, aren't you? So hey, I say it's a win-win if we team up. What do you say? And the answer is... Ah, fuck me! <laughs> If the book could laugh, he it would laugh. As it opens, it opens up, and then the pages like flick through, like a little bit, and a little bit, and a little bit again. As it's just, and it's on its back, as if it's laughing on its back. If it could talk, it would talk and probably say the fa It would just say some rubbish of the founder. You see, after the founder. <laughs> I've heard that before. Something of that attitude, and it's too, much, it's too much. It's it's in his, it's it's laughing at you. It still won't attack anyone. I it's it's too interesting with rope. <laughs> All right. I've got <laughs> you can try I that. I persuade it. the book once. I can persuade the book again. <laughs> you definitely can. All right. Well, uh, I would say you're trying to grab some rope now, Speedy. I've got rope in my bag. Alright, so you're preparing to get some rope because you don't like a book laughing at you. That's quite humiliating. <laughs> <laughs> and, and while that is happening, the book that's on fire takes about two burning damage from before. What's on? <laughs> and um, it's gonna attack, I would say, Naki again. Uh, it's uh, it's it's a book. It's one of those expensive textbooks. So it's gonna open up and launch some letters at you. And these letters this time, though, they spell out going thief. It's it's actually with the word thief. Oh, I am left with a one HP right now. Oh, no, 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 I did that wrong. It's not. It's, it has advantage. I will change that for you. Put that back on normal and. Ah, fuck! <laughs> Can we just go first one? <laughs> sure, no problem. Uh, ignoring that one. Um... Bro, I'd be eviscerated. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it feels against That's me, I'd be better. Because I'm the tank that right time. now. But... That no, single worries. attack would done my entire health bar. <laughs> yeah, I need to heal you next turn if you don't convince the book. If you so convince the, the book, letter T H I E F hits you one after the other, and you take you take a step back each time those letters hit you, and uh, you're on, and the last letter F hits you the hardest, <laughs> and you're on your knees, and you and I'll say you're a step back as well. <laughs> it's kind of funny how the book is calling you the thief, and the thief's on the other side of the room. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end of his turn. Now Miss sees you and's like, uh, Le Leonardo, are you okay? The no. <laughs> Is there I might need I to use hands on the next turn. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything I could do? Heal him. <laughs> Got the healing spell. <laughs> Sorry, what are you saying over there? Literally dying of... Paper cut. <laughs> <laughs> That's one hell of a paper cut. <laughs> and uh um Oop, that's what I wanna do. Dancing lights. That's not what I wanna do. She's like I'll, I'll do my best and um I'll I'll get rid of one of the books and then she's gonna cast Firebolt once again. <laughs> To the book that just called you a thief, Nagi, and then um, he's out. The, the, the she's mm, has more energy to uh, she lifts both her hands up and then just slams them down in the direction of the book that's currently in fire, and it's a big fireball. Um, it really light. You can see that you can just feel the heat off this one as it passes you, and you as well, Speedy, and it just hits that book. And then it's, it, it incinerates in, instantly and the embers of the flame just slightly touch the other books on the shelf. Doesn't start a fire, but there's definitely embers that escape the fireball as it hit the book and it's out. It burns! No, no, as, it, as it's burning though, right? And, and then she, there's the words of like, um, chosen. 
you can see the word ashes ash the, as it's burned into ashes it spells the words chosen and it fades out your saxon it's getting a little hot in here maybe you should take off all your clothes or your shirt just your shirt <laughs> Maybe they'll convince the book to uh, not attack you. No fair. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> now this book. <coughs> Chosen. Hmm. Now this oh, guy stinks about that. <laughs> now this book here, right here, this one here, is seeing the commotion, and he's gonna. Eat. He's going to guard one of the chests, so you're unable to get this left chest until you find a way to get through to the book. And now the the next book in front of you, M, wastes no time or anything like that. It's one Wait. of those, um, this book here okay. is one of those, you know, those uh, magazines for children, like a K-Zone, something like that. So it's very skinny and very light, and it's full of... <laughs> It's full of those illustrations with those humors, like with, with humor aimed at probably a 10 year old or 13 year old like that. And so a taxi with like these um, Western drawings that's supposed to be funny. Wait, I, I use persuasion to try and get it to a... Oh. Not a uh, how are you going to persuade a K-Zone magazine? <laughs> uh, Please enlighten me. Give me a second. Yeah. <laughs> At this point, we're just pulling shit out of our ass. Yeah. Isn't that just every D and D session? Then it's practically every day. Uh, I need, I need like, I need a great enemies with high charisma, so you can't persuade the shit out of them. This way, the fucking book. Here's the thing. I would still win. Not if you're dead. Not if you're dead, my friend. Alright. No. You are the squishiest of us. <laughs> Just a little guy. <laughs> Thankfully, uh, I have a uh, <clears throat> my reroll still. All right, I, I got this. I got this. I stroke the book carefully and go, "Hey, baby, it's not you. It's me. I made a mistake. Can you forgive me?" <laughs> Roll persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Normal, please. No advantage. Sorry, that was my bad. No, it's fine. Sixteen. I, I would say the book that is a more irritated with you, that he moves a step back and he says, like, "Get your filthy hands off of me, you, th you bloody filth, you thief!" Come back, come back here, baby. I'll treat you better. And then he, and he, and he replies, he replies by like spelling the words out, "Hands off." He spells words, "Hands off," and Let that's it. Like that. <laughs> The book dies of cringe. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Ooh, that's fucking cringe, bro. This K Zone book is like, hell. The hell. I think it just reshelf itself, like, at a higher sh shelving point at that point. It's gonna go back just, to like, the shelf. It's like, fly up. <laughs> now, this book here is, uh. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, this book here, um, just back here, it's speedy, it's speedy, and Nagi, Manga. Uh, it, the, the monk, it can't attack, but it's definitely going to move in, just behind Miss, and it turns, ends. And, ironically, Takemi, it is your turn again. <laughs> Are you gonna chase after the book and persuade it more? He's chasing after a teenager's K Zone magazine, full with rumors writing game reviews and anime reviews. Let that sink in. Ooh, I, I think it's funny. Closer. <laughs> <sighs> I will use persuade again. How do you wanna persuade him? <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, I look at the book and it's okay, baby. I won't hurt you anymore. Come back. Roll persuasion. Where's my. Where's my words? <laughs> it recognizes that you are dummy thick and then wants a piece of that ass. <laughs> Come here, come here, baby. <laughs> this book is like dying of cringe right now, and he wants to do nothing with you, and he's just moving out of step back. Like, this is this what what adults are? Pure cringe. Who are you flirting with, a book? 
<laughs> First off, I'm I'm not an adult. I am still a teenager, so come at me. <laughs> then the future generation is doomed. <laughs> Leonardo, you are. <laughs> <laughs> While you're, you don't notice, but your rogue friend is one of them is hiding, one is flirting with a book. Um, well, meanwhile, I can't help on, them. Meanwhile, you're on death's door. What would you like to do? There's one book that won't attack, but will attack once his turn comes back again. And Speedy's trying to befriend a book, so everything's a mess, right? Really, Babina. <laughs> I hey, guess I'll, uh... If you convince this book, I can heal you next turn when my turn rolls around. <laughs> Roll persuasion. <laughs> uh, I like to move up to, uh, right here, next to, uh... Okay, yes. Sure, yes. go for it. <laughs> what would you like to do now? You have an action. Uh, I'm gonna persuade this book. Alright, help it. Say your persuasion. Hey, I... I know I look like I'm not the cleanest right now. I'm bleeding in several places, but I would like to read you still. Roll persuasion. And with the help of Leonardo Reinhardt, um, the book is satisfied with both of you guys, and he and he, and he spells out just promise to read me in the courtyard under the summer sun shine with the breeze against my pages. Oh, damn. <laughs> I will do I my mean, best. To... You guys are nasty. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing with that. <laughs> Which inventory doesn't join? And uh, this book, Speedy, will help you. It's going to do its best to give you any information about the founder after this battle. Which inventory does it join, though? Um, I would say Speedy's because he's the one that's been trying to... It was originally in Speedy's hands, but he says he will also help you as well, Naki. So I'll put I'll put it both into your inventories um, so well, you can you also borrow it. I mean, you could just, I would say that you can probably just call out the title of the book, which I have not, and call the title of the book out first, and then it, I would say, like, it's, we'll treat it as, like, a summon uh, outside of battle, if you want to know anything about the founder. And, yeah. Sweet. So now, um, you guys can decide if, where it wants to, if you guys want to hold it or put it in the bag or whatever. Now, Neko, it's your turn now. Right. Eating. Bro, what are you eating? Oh, uh, you know those, uh, dried squid? Interesting. Um, can I just stab it again? Go for it. Do I have to roll, like, strength or something? You gotta no, no. click on um, the dagger. Click on the dagger. Alright. Um. So yes, you you so you pounce so you pounce up into the air because you're with your hind kitty legs, and then you hold it with two hands and you just slam it into the ground with your dagger, and it's pinned to the ground and takes a whopping seven points of damage. It's definitely on the ground now, and it's um, shriveling. Up. It's shaking like like a like a bug about to die on the ground, and it cannot move. All right. <laughs> oh yeah. Um. Another question. Can I use medicine on the books? I mean. Uh oh. <laughs> I think that's less medicine and more like crafting. Yeah. Because <laughs> books are oh, like. Kind of crafting. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of Mind like... Uh, no way. I, I don't, don't know. know. Um, I don't have to say it, say it anyway. Uh, hold on, I'm thinking. Mine and diamonds. Mine diamonds. Okay, I would allow it in some case, but Met Miss has a spell as a cantrip called Mending. If you can convince her, she can mend the book for you. Oh, no, no. I, I don't want Miss to do it. I want to do it. Uh, well then, I would. What would I? I, I don't know. We, we should we? Because not everyone has no. mending. Well, I... well like I said, you can't really do medicine on the book. It's yeah, like it's not alive. It's, although it's animated, right. it's 
You just go and like okay, repair it with I, like crafting essentially. I would say that you can probably collect the pages afterwards and find someone that can restore the book to you. You do know the NPCs Maribel and Jake. If you can find them within this campaign and convince them to fix the book for you, either persuasion or with gold or with something else, they can fix the book for you if that's the route you want to go with. Do you remember, oh, this right. is a children's book though. <laughs> This is the one you're attacking is a children's All book. Alright, it's a children's book. Never mind, screw it. I would have laughed if you fixed it, then remembered. Oh shit, I've got a kid's book with me now. <laughs> oh, Neko wants the mangas. You still don't know what the other book you got in the chest is. Maybe that's an important book you guys could take. Who knows? Right, I'm done with my turn. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, that's a good idea, though, Neko. You can definitely try it with another book. For sure. Okay. Alright, Balheis, what do you like to do? Uh, alright. I guess first off, I guess the book's going into a bag just, you know, while the chaos is going on to prevent damage. Yeah. But, um, I like to use Lay on Hands on, uh, Leo here. Okay, click on it for <laughs> me so I can read it. Uh, I've got like five from the hit pool, so okay. I'd like to use at least about seven on him. <laughs> Okay, let me read it first. You can touch a creature and draw power from the pool to restore a number of hit points um, to the creature. Up to them. Mm -hmm. And my paladin level is 2 right now, so I've got 10 points, so I'd like to use 7 on him. Get him up to 8 HP. <laughs> okay, and also, it's a spell, correct? Is it, not is it a spell? I think or it's just a class. I think it's a cantrip because I've had it before. I had spell casting because it's a base. It's a base skill for like. Paladin. Oh, lay on hand. It's a, okay. All yeah. right. So and it doesn't it won't, miss. Yeah, it won't take a spell slot. I don't think. Yeah. No, yeah. It's the same as like the divine sense. It's, uh, it's just an innate ability to the um paladin. Is there a? I want to know if there's a limit to this, though. Yep, oh, I yeah. got ten, right now. I've only got ten points I can use to heal from it. Okay, I'm gonna put it in I'm here on your sheet. So, like, what it says is equal paladin level times five of hit points. So, when I was at level one, I could use it to heal five points of HP. All now right. I'm level two, I can use it to heal ten. But until I rest, it's. That's all I've got until I get the rest. Yeah. Okay, so you want to use seven on Nagi? Yes, because he kind of needs it right now. Okay, so you have three left of that. It's in your clock. I've checked your sheet. There's a little tally I've put in there for you. And so well, how do you want to describe the healing? You just touch your hands on him lightly kind of thing? It's like, he yeah, just slightly my hold my hand. My face. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I just uh, put my hand over his over some of his wounds, it's just like, shit, careful now. Uh, no sudden movements, I'm trying to fix the, I'm trying to stop the bleeding. As a gentle light uh, exits my hands and washes over him. Yeah. Thanks, by the way. <laughs> Persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so with the aid of Bal Heist, Ilionata, you're able to stand up again. And it's like you never were, was close to death's doors at all. That's right, I never was in the first place. <laughs> and that ends his turn. And this is, um, I gotta remove this book from. Just <coughs> wipe it away. Yeah, that... Wipe it away. Now it's Mrs. Turn here, and like, um, she's wasting no time whatsoever, and she's um going to like, she's gonna let's fix it up and let's uh let's wait till that's tabs open. Um, she's gonna cast a ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. where is my thing? She's gonna cast a ray of frost on the book because. So, <laughs> freezing a book is um, just as damaging. Not in this case, she was able to like 
the little finger gun and a little a tiny tiny teeny beam of of, of frost aims at this book and it definitely has a got colder temperature but it only does one damage so i don't think the book really felt that much can I, uh, it's too hot blooded to freeze <laughs> no, no. can i uh no, no. say uh it makes a pew sound effect the, the book looks around, confused at where the wind is blowing from. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this anime, back to you rogues upstairs. This book is um, the one that's guarding, it's staying there, he's not moving. And... Upstairs? I thought that was downstairs. Oh, sorry. Uh, ah, yeah. Downstairs, sorry, my bad. And um, the book here, the... He's gonna, he's done with your shenanigans, so it's gonna move up and it's gonna attack you. Uh, uh, Tokemi. Persuaded again. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna attack you with the cringy teenager comics. And before you can open your damn mouth, it's like it releases all these comic books and, and, these, and these letters and these ugly fonts at you, one after the other. And then it finishes with the words, um, it then attacks you with the letters Damn. called Charmeleon. And each letter hits you for a total of three slashing damage. I, th I think it would be better if it spelled out Simp. <laughs> There's no way this book is gonna spell simp. And the book is this oh yeah, this one is um what was this book of? Anyway, um so it's Texas this book here. Also it's now gonna try and attack Speedy because it's like, how come you healed him? That's not right. He's supposed to die. Guess you'll die too. And then lunges at you, spinning around, trying to imitate uh, what looks like a fast moving blade, but it's not moving at the speed it wants to. And it just like, it's like thonk into your, into your back and doesn't do any damage at all whatsoever. Like, I'm wearing armor, mm -hmm. manga. <laughs> <laughs> it thought it had the power of anime and God by its side to help it. Didn't work Unfortunately, out Unfortunately, the one with the, God, with the God on the side right now. I've got the power of, I've got the power of mail of ma manliness and then and God on my side. <laughs> okay, so now it's your turn, Tokemi. What would you like to do? I look at the book. I tried to give you a chance, but uh, I guess this is it. And I use my short sword on it. All right, go for it. <laughs> oh! This is what happens. Book. This is what happens, book. I tried to save you. I tried. How would you like to describe your attack? I do an upward slash motion on the book with my sword and cut it from left to right diagonally, from the bottom to the top. And yeah, so first your your sneak attack, it does it lands you. So you jump in the air, swirl up a little bit, and you you come down to the from the from the sky and you slash it once. You deal five damage on it, easy. And then you, and so now the book is a bit behind you. So you grab your sword again, and then as you turn around. You just you slice the, the the book in half with your book with an up like from going up down, whoink, dealing a load of damage, nine damage, easy on it, and now it's on the floor. Its pages are ripped. Its spine is nearly un. It nearly ripped apart, fluttering like a bug about to die, and it's like the it's a hard book. It's a K Zone magazine, so it, what it didn't have really the prize it, it, it could take two attacks like that. Right. And, and my turn, I step on the book and go beg me to stay. And then, as it's, it has only it doesn't have much health left, so it's trying to spell out the font, but the font is shaky and it's just like cringe. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's fucking cringe, bro. <laughs> Famous last words. Hey yo, watch this. I have the favor of God and anime on my side. <laughs> Leonardo, what would you like to do? 
And and where is this tag going to? Oh, the front of the book. Okay, yeah, I see it. It said it had God and power in anime on my side. Mm. But no, in reality, I have the power of God in anime on my side. <laughs> and so, you you get your ice knife and you form it in the palm of your hands and you grab it and you lunge forward and you slam that ice knife right into that book. And not only does it take ice eight ice damage your friend speedy and miss now has to s do a dexterity saving throw is it or else they're gonna get yeah. hit by some ice shards so so speedy uh, one moment <laughs> yep go go roll your dexterity failed and um <laughs> All right, do I roll 2d6s to find out how much I take? Yes, please. Also, uh, the target itself has to roll, too. Yeah, yeah, we'll do one at a time, no problem. And so... Ah, oh, fuck me! Wait, hang on. No, no, uh... That's not... The DC save, that is, uh... Oh, no, 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 you're right. Yeah, DC save is... In your spells. Spell oh. save is... 8 plus your proficiency plus your intelligence. That's your DC save. Not your dex roll. Oh, so I. No, it's no, a dex no, no, dexterity no, saving. No, this throw. one's dexterity. This one's dexterity. Dexterity See saving. See the throw. description? Uh, yeah, so, so instead of intelligence, you use dexterity for that then? Yeah, he just so did. That, yeah, that's that. No, no. But you still use the 8 plus proficiency plus whatever your, intelli your dexterity modifier is. So you won't be oh, so I ran 10 plus, um, 8 plus... What's your dexterity... No, no, <coughs> what's your dexterity bonus? Ah, uh, zero. Okay. Plus so my proficiency bonus is two, so it was yeah, a 12. So that's, no, uh... They have an entire thing called saving now. throws. There's, yeah, there's, 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 there's something called saving throws, which is the spell save. It's what I posted earlier, and I miss them. If you check the thing, the spell save DC, that's what you use to... Spell save DC 8 plus your proficiency bonus plus your intelligence modifier. Yeah, because it's... Uh, they have to get higher than 13. Of... Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, if his dex is high enough, he could actually save it from the 13. Because it's... Uh, it's um... But we have a button for that. Yeah. So, it's dexterity save. They have a category just for it. Anyways, okay. book, miss, roll now, or die. <laughs> so I, I know, I think that would work in some instances, but because this one is already, there's a function, the formula is already in the in the saves, you know what oh, I yeah, mean? Yeah. You can click the saving throw. Yeah, yeah, nah. so it's, it's, so it's gonna be still 10, and speedy, um... Your friend may have nearly, nearly knocked out the book, but the shard coming in your direction, because you, you're wearing some armor too, so this wasn't enough time, and the shard you took was a bigger one, nearly the size of the ice knife that Nagi slammed into the book, and you take a whopping 11 damage. And now suddenly you're not too feeling well, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? <laughs> You and really then, need to be more aware of your surroundings, dude. Ooh. And then Ooh, the book. Ooh, that stinks. He somehow, even though he's he's on the ground and his his pages are like covered in frost, the shard just just goes over him because he's such a tiny little manga book. Flies over him, and it's heading straight to Miss. And she sees a shot too, and she says, Saxton, are you okay? But then she did realize she has to do a, a dexterity saving throw, and well, fuck me. <laughs> 2d6. Uh, she's, uh, she's walking to you. She gets hit by the ice knife right in the shoulder. And, uh, <coughs> sorry. Suddenly she's not looking in the greatest shape either. Oh, wrong one. Wrong one. Wrong. There we go. Like that. No, I gotta roll the thing. Do you want me to roll too then? Okay, I got it. <coughs> the 2d6. How did you type it? Mm. Uh, wait, there's oh, a little die thing underneath the um, roller. The forward <laughs> slash rolling 2d6. 
It's not recognizing my command. What's the command, there's, you guys? There's a there's a toolbar on the left side. You know the one with the like rule thing underneath it. There's the dice. Oh, oh yep, yep, yep. I see it now. Okay. And it pulls up a table. And you just go D six and then the two, two. next to it. <laughs> oh my God, it's. You guys roll oh, no, the same uh, exact oh, yes, you have to. You have to do slash roll, not slash rolling. Ah, yeah, okay, got it. All right, yeah. while you guys are putting a ridiculous amount of numbers, um, <laughs> the nu <laughs> she gets hit with the shoulder and she takes a f a, 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 it hurt a bit. It's definitely sore now, and she takes five cold damage. And she looks at Leonardo, please be more careful with that. <laughs> Did you see? Can't you look? Look at Bell Heist. <laughs> ooh, if ooh, I think that's my blood, my frozen <laughs> blood. <laughs> Frostbite moment. Okay, Necker, what would you like to do? Uh, I'm gonna finish stabbing the book. Stab away, my kitty friend. And a seventy. Without any contest, you stab him multiple times because you're done with the children's book. And he's out. Oh, true. <laughs> nice. Right, okay. Straight up murderer. Okay. Murder the children's book without hesitation. I mean, like, it's not alive, so. <laughs> it's animated. It's called an animated book. I'm, it's I alive. I, I wouldn't say it's alive. Your friend is, is trying to flirt with a K Zone magazine, so. <laughs> Is it alive? I don't literally know. Called, literally called him cringe before it dies. Yep. <laughs> Belhaus, what uh, would you like to do? At this point, I'm just thinking to myself. Uh, I've got <laughs> no, the book we I needed. I think it's good. And I've almost been carried by a nice knife. I think it's about <laughs> time to leave. Anybody else up for that? Anybody? I think that's a really good idea. Small problem. A book blocks the way. Very menacing. Very powerful. You mean the manga magazine that's almost KO'd? <laughs> uh, no. The one at the entrance. Roll perception! Alright. <laughs> So, that is a nat one. Did, you finally see, got your nat one. You got the nat one, not the one I wanted. Hi, Spe Hi Sarah, by the way. Um, so, Speedy, you definitely see a book fluttering near the entrance. Doesn't see you guys yet, but he's fluttering by the entrance. And Nagi, um, that eye shot attack took a lot out of you, so you can't really see anything by the entrance. What would you like to do, Spell Iced? Uh... I've got two actions. I could I two choices. I could either finish off the manga book in front of me, mm -hmm. or I could try healing myself. <laughs> what would you like to do? Uh, can I cast cure wounds on myself? Yes, you can. It'll take a spell slot though. Yep. I'll I'll deal with that then. All right, click it on. Click it for me. We'll figure out. Wait, right. uh, <coughs> wait, I can do it from my, um, main. Yep, alright, so do a 1d8, plus your spell casting ability modifier. Damn, your spell save DC is only 9? God, that's easy. <laughs> and, it's um, based off charisma, it's not my best stat at the moment. <laughs> You're a uh, paladin, it's supposed to be your best stat. <laughs> I know. I'm not gonna tell it what class is best stat in. <laughs> and so, Speedy, you put your hands on your chest and a warm. You feel your hands going warm and glowing in this nice golden color, and you're able to regain six health. You should have done like. And then Saxon rubs his hands all over his chest. Wrong direction Ooh, on the HP. Shut up. <laughs> Death. More peace. Nothing happened. 
No, uh, I can move. There, right. There's been a natural one and a natural twenty. Fortunately, the natural twenty was an enemy aiming at me, and then uh, and then M got a natural twenty as well. As well, he uh, he's floating and with a so yeah, um, half my party is floating with books. Great to see. And the nap one you wanted me to die from doesn't even work. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, uh, and Miss here is um, she's getting a bit tired using the magic, so she's gonna grab her quarter stuff and just like donk it on bonk. the head, the bonk. <laughs> she's indeed very tired, and um, as she bonks the book in front of her, it doesn't die. She tries it again. It's just still not dead. Donk. Not at all. Donk. The donk, donk did not work. The book has had enough of this shenanigans. <laughs> okay. All right. So the the treasure chest and uh, not treasure chest. The book here is seeing his friend, the Kazo magazine, dying of cringe. So he's gonna go and attack. Uh, gonna attack the um, gonna attack the the cringe rogue over there. Twenty five feet. Oh the my attack. god! <laughs> <laughs> hey, the book came at me. I, I tried to tell her not to. <sighs> Throw persuasion. I, I, I incentive to not attack me. Say Remember, this is the guy who multiple guns not to stab a box. So this book is um. <laughs> so the book is about to open an attack, and you persuaded how? I persuaded to just think twice that. I tell the book, look, it attacked me first. I, uh, I I tried to stop it. I tried to save it, but you know, it came at me. I had to defend myself. I have the right to do that. You you and I have no beef. Luckily for you, this book is actually a book about law, and he agrees with what you're saying and doesn't attack you for this turn. <coughs> All right, and he doesn't attack you. He's like. I can respect a man that knows about law, and he doesn't attack you this turn. And now, but the K-Zone book, it's gonna definitely attack you. Oh, that's fine, you're almost dead anyway. And with the last of its strength, it it, it is just flying. It's, its pages are now torn, so the pages, it's it's ripped off, right? But they also become as sharp as a blade, and they're just attacking you like as if you've been attacked by multiple blades, slashing damage. And um, because you're trying to discuss, uh, persuade the other book, you don't you don't have enough time to dodge these, and you take um three damage. And also, you notice something coming out of the book. Something shiny and glimmering is coming out. Has come out of the book. I look at the law book. See? It attacked me again. So if I kill it, I'm in the right. I'm defending myself. Book. Book. The book in front of you is just like three, three full stops. You know, dot, dot, dot. And now this book that is um, back with the other party, it's gonna lunge and attack at Miss, um, and see if he can get some of this party out. And uh, even though it's barely a lot, I mean it's not a lot to begin with, but it's nearly dead. Um, it launches an attack and it just launches itself at Miss, and um, she's not very good at dodging things. And she takes a whopping six damage, and now she's on the floor with no energy to get up. And oh man, turn. if it's still there at my turn, I'm just picking it up, <laughs> closing it, and putting it in the shelf. Ko. <laughs> All right, so the book in front of me has dropped something. <coughs> Littering, right? Yeah, she it has dropped something interesting, but if you take it, you give the opportunity for the books to attack you. Well, the law book won't attack me because right now we have an agreement. The K Zone book will do. K Zone book attacked me, so it will be self defense if I fight it back. What is this, Phoenix Wright? Who are you debating this, your case against? <laughs> I'm telling the law book that book. me. <laughs> I'm trying to justify my actions so it doesn't attack me. <laughs> what would you like to do? I will attack it with a short sword. Okay. Uh, the book in front of me, that is. The the All right, the go book. for it. And 
when you that. finish what you started in that Kaizen book with the energy it barely has left, took the attack and it's gone. And then I'll scoop up the little glittering dust thing or whatever it is. Um, I would need you to roll perception because you don't know where it is. You definitely see it fall out. Okay, so the, the, the little item is about f 10 feet away from you. Shiny. It's shiny. 10 feet in front? Uh, 10 feet behind. Behind me? This way. Here. Yeah. Then I pick it up. Okay, you pick it up and I'll add that to your inventory later. Um, this, I would like to say that the item you picked up is very important. Ooh. I look at the little book, see? <clears throat> I still have no B. Yep. I didn't attack you because uh, you haven't done anything wrong yet. You don't know what it is just yet, but you, uh, I would suggest to keep it. I just keep it in my pocket. Yep. Now, Leonardo, what would you like to do? Mist is once Watch. again on the edge of... Hmm? Shim. Just attack. Checking the book. And, um... No, no, no. If it, tell me if it hits or not. Yeah, Fortunately, um, you're not a very dexterity kind of guy. You're a frail little white boy, and you try to use a dagger, but the book, you trip over, and you, you just missed the corner of the no, I didn't. of the monka. No, Wait. I didn't. Oh. Watch this. So, and... I have something called gods. Favored Dude. by them. But as you trip over your dagger, it will seem like it was gonna like fall out and slip out of your hands and completely miss. But then somehow it's like a, <clears throat> something happened, like it's the force of the gods pushed that dagger where it's supposed to go and right in the spine of the manga book. And that book is also out of action. No longer can be borrowed by fellow students. Sorry, Permanently. You should have said, uh, as uh, Nagi went to go stab the book, he tripped and the knife fell out of his hand, letting gravity stab and finishing the book off. Anime is fuck way to finish the manga. <laughs> that was actually uh, cool. Um, <laughs> In the end, it was me who had got an anime on my side. He has got an anime on his side. Alright, Neko, you've killed the book in front of you, the children's book, with no mercy. Uh, what would you like to do? All right. Uh, can I lock take the chest now? Yeah. Um, Let's go for the chest. All right. The wait, wait, wait. Let me check my notes. Um. Okay. Yeah, you're free. There's nothing. Okay. With thieves, thieves tools, you just open it, right? There's no check, because yeah, you, you have thieves uh, tools. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I do have thieves tools. Okay. Go do it. I go. So you open the chest, but then you just dis you just discovered you've trapped you've triggered a trap, and I need you to roll a DC of fifteen or more with your Constitution saving throw. Oh, how do I do that? I knew it was a pipe bomb. <laughs> so click on Constitution saving throw. Should be Constitution on your character sheet. Hold up, saving troll. Oh, um, uh, so click on saving throws, constitution. Uh, yeah. I see it, okay. Yeah. Should be on your proficiency throw. Oh, <laughs> you so should lucky, have let me. <laughs> lucky you are a med student, but um, that's another story. That doesn't save you from being having this little tiny little needle touch the tip of your fingertips and you seem to be poisoned and you don't know how. Um, Pipe bomb. Yep. Oh, but important stuff is that is there anything inside the chest? Well, go roll. Um, yes, there is. There's definitely a few. Is there something inside the uh, chest? Do I have to roll perception? Um, yeah, I would say so. So, uh, so hi, Tristy. Okay. Oh my god, it's been so long you've been here. Tristy and... in the chat? We can ban him now. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, so, yes. <laughs> Uh, in a minute. Okay, yeah. so, um, yeah, the, 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 the needle from the treasure chest is taking most of your attention because the poison, it really hurts. Um, but you do notice shapes of items inside the box, but you don't know what they are. 
Oh, but can I take them though? Yes, you can. You All scored right, um... yourself a potion of healing and a spell <laughs> scroll of cantrip. Okay. I will add that to your inventory after the battle. So um, with the cantrip okay. spell scroll, it only can be a cantrip spell from your class, no one else's, because it won't okay. work. Okay. Right. Well done on getting some treasure. Bell Heist, okay. what would you like to do? There's no more enemies around you, but there's can one Can the others hear the me if I yell? Can the other two up back hear me if I yell? <laughs> yeah. They're about uh, 160 feet away, and the other is same, about 60 feet away. So it's got to be one hell of a good call. I mean, I used to be a woodcutter, so kind of used to yelling ah, out. Ah, yes. <laughs> oh, this uh, dexterity. Yeah. Do I roll uh, dexterity? Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, I was reading the note. Uh, so, I yell out to the two, Hey, I know you two are still in here somewhere. Uh, might be probably a good time to head out soon if you finish whatever you're doing back there. I can Roll. hear something. Roll I, yell back. Oh, yeah. Roll. I was gonna say, because you're so far, you're 60 feet away, I, the message won't be clear. So, I want him to roll this advantage on Charisma. Or. Something like that. Oh, it's not like a convincing thing. It's more like letting oh, okay. them know. All right, go for it. All right, you guys can reply. Yeah, it's yeah, just like right. uh, killing him. Uh, Meow got poisoned, so uh, we're gonna need someone to carry him out. Um, oh, and then I just completely ignore Speedy. Because <laughs> <laughs> my next action was gonna pick up Miss and just like, yeah, we're heading out. I don't think you can walk right now. <laughs> We need something to pick up, uh, Meow. Oh, oh no, I think I'm good. He's I think good. I'm good. He's not, he's not, no, it's not a deadly trap. He's just been poisoned, so he's gonna take one and damage. Who the hell puts a potion of healing in a trap chest with poison? Me! <laughs> that, someone who loves irony. <laughs> you fell for the bait. <laughs> there is still. So... I did, yeah. I can like pick up Miss and say, like, yeah, we're heading out. <laughs> um, if you're gonna pick up Miss, if you're gonna yeah. pick up Miss, I need you to roll a strength because you're picking something up. Oh no, I think it's just because she's heavy. Objectifying a woman. <laughs> Fuck you, Neko. Is that correct or do I do save? Uh, no, strength is correct. That's, cor that's correct. So, you're able to uh, pick up Miss uh, and toss her. How would you like to hold her? Over your shoulders, in your arms? <laughs> I'm sure in the arms right now because, like, you're on one HP. Alright, so you carry her in, into your arms and she's 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 pretty out of it, but she sees she sees you and gives you what it's like a little nod, really faint reek nod, and she closes her eyes again. She's very yeah, right. grateful. Yeah, Leo, I think we should head we should head on out now, unless you got something else you need to do in the library here. <laughs> and then mm. the, this book here, the law book that is somehow agreeing not to attack you, is just um less, then. let's say um he just he just spells out the words thieves, 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 thieves. Uh, oh, leave, no. leave, I leave. <laughs> his, his book is asking you, he's giving you warnings to leave, is what he's trying to say. Don't, don't try to think and open that second treasure chest. <laughs> oh, yeah, pipe bomb in there in this case. <laughs> so, Kenny, what would you, how do you want to respond to this? Okay, uh, I use my thieves can't language and uh, let Meow know I'll distract the law book while he opens the second box. Okay, just say your thieves can't. Uh, I'm going down to the parlor at three. <laughs> 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 wanna grab a beer with me? I look at the law book. Yo, you wanna go grab a drink? I mean, there's nothing else going on. <laughs> the book is like... I don't like, I don't like liquids. 
try not to drink. Just sit there and enjoy the ambiance. Alright, we're flirting with a case from book and we're offering a drink to the law book. Whatever. <laughs> Are you sure you're not a... Because <laughs> you've been doing an awful lot of flirting. <laughs> If you want, do you want to persuade the, the law book to go drinking? Are you even legal to drink? I don't know. Who said anything about alcohol? We can just drink normal water and just hang out at the bar. Go, 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 go. Hey. <laughs> Finally a natural one, let's go. And this one, this book is just like, he's doing like a shaking the head motion and he says, I really don't like liquids. I look at the book. Yeah, you know, not to drink. You can just, you know, sit there and enjoy the. He, the book is now Get ignoring you. The book one. is now ignoring you. <laughs> you got a critical failure, dude. <laughs> There's no use continuing. If this book had didn't have class, it would say cringe as well. But this is a matured age law book. It's not gonna say cringe. It's gonna respect, rightfully, respectfully disrespect you. Um. All oh, right. I should be moved okay, next yeah, to him. To, uh, get that second chest. Right, I forgot to move to right next to him, miss. Yeah, alright, no problem, you can do that. Now, Leonardo, it's now your turn. How would you like to do? What would you like to do? Time to skedaddle. Exactly, time to skedaddle. Yeah, if I use my action to move, I can leave. 30 feet. Oh, no, you can use dash as well, so yeah. You wanna do that? Dash. You'll leave the sure. battle. I think I'm, uh, done here. Mm-hmm. I'm about to head out. <laughs> and so you do. You move, and with a bit of extra energy left in you, you dash, and you're absolutely out of the library now. Neko, what would you like to do? Yeah, I'm. I'm just going to loot the second chest. <laughs> All right, no problem. Because the uh, notebook is distracted with me, he has a. Uh, he can loot it. I'll oh, never get the uh, lockpick dexterity. Oh, but um, do I have to roll perception because I don't even know what's on the chest right now? Yeah, you'd have to do perception. Uh, investigation. Oh, investigation. All right. Oh, uh, investigation. To see if there's any more traps around. <laughs> Uh, I'm, so I'm really betting. I'm betting there's a pipe bomb in this you one. You sense there is a trap, but you are unsure if it's the same one you just opened. But there is a trap. Okay, I'm still gonna open it anyway. Close your bet. Is it a pipe bomb? Biscuit I'm, for the biscuit. I'm not... <laughs> and wait, wait, like right. so, uh, wait, what do I need to do? On, make a bet on uh, Twitch to see what it is. You want to make, make me a poll? No, make a bet using your channel points. Oh. Bet channel points. Oh god, how do I do that? I'll do it later. Yeah, I... Um, anyway, as you open the chest, Nagi, it is in... It's Another... not me! Oh, no, it's, Nagi, it's sorry, Nagi. Neko, 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 sorry, Neko. Oh, uh... You open the chest again, and you recognize the same actions as before, and this is definitely a chest with a trap. And I need you to roll a constitution saving throw. Pipe bomb, pipe bomb, pipe oh, bomb. Dude. You are just not having the greatest luck. Like, you could sense a trap, but you're unable to dodge these t attacks, and you're poisoned once again, and you're going to be losing... Damn it. You're gonna be losing two health per t every time your turn comes around, um, but um, yeah, you're poisoned. I would say in Pokemon terms, very, very poisoned. Um, very can I do? I have to roll perception to like um see what's inside. Yes, I would. Yes, please. All right. Sixteen. Uh, wow. All right. You notice there I, are. Um, I, uh... There seems to be two items in this in this chest, material like. All right, I'll take them anyways. All right, and you got yourself two bags of holding. The bag of holding is, literally gives you more storage space in your bag, so you can hold more things. Oh, okay. You can literally just gave him the best magic item in the game. <laughs> Not just one, but well, two of them. he got poisoned twice for it, so like. 
Wait, what if you put a bag of holding into a bag of holding? Oh wait, hold up, and then I'm going to uh, use Thief's Con yes. to signal to uh, M that uh, everything has been looted, it's time to scuttle. How So how do you want to say the thieves can't? Um... Let's make up the tree! Oi, it's, it's time to go down to the dock! <laughs> <laughs> About to take our yacht, so... Very well. Right, Not to steal to Germany! Right, yo, let's get on our way then. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> I am my turn. Malheis, it's your turn, and you're carrying Miss as well. How would uh, you like to just... go? Uh, I'm here. Because uh, I'm carrying somebody, I think I can only move 30 feet even without yeah, unable would... to dash. Yeah. So, I would say I move about... So move 30 feet? And I'll, yeah, um... to about... That's about 30 feet, correct? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, move there. Carrying Miss, be ready to dash out the door next uh, and, turn. And um, because you weren't able to dash in one go, the book that's guarding the entrance has noticed you guys and doesn't like the idea of you guys leaving. I'd like to imagine that if it targets us, it ta I'm pro because I'm holding, I'll probably be the one taking the damage first. <laughs> Now you just start a fight. <laughs> He's left. He's gone. <laughs> He's out of he the went, battle. The shit in our mouth. Mm. <laughs> and he's gone. Fuck this shit, we're out. And Mrs. Mrs. is just saying, Bell Heist, I think the book, the book is looking at our, uh, looking our way. She says very faintly. Actually, no, she doesn't say anything. She just tugs your your collar and just like uses her eyes to point at the direction of the book. I look towards where the book is and I'm ready to uh, shift uh, my weight to a uh, block. All right, no problem. Okay. I bet I could use persuasion on NECA to get one of the bag of holdings. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> One thing at well, a time. Uh, Takemi, think... what would you like to do? Uh, well, since me and both are out, it's time to make like Skedaddle. a All split. right. Yep. I am going to dash. Get dash. Yep. Make like a tree and get on out of here. <laughs> Alright, so I dash down to the little corner, close to where the book burned to death. Yep, go it's for it. Speed. I'm there now because uh oh shit should I wait for Bell? Should I just leave without him? Hmm? Oh. You you've used dash as an as your action so you can't really do anything else. I can I can use cunning action to dash again. Ah true. That's up to you. I I don't think you're are you stealthing anymore? No, I'm not stealthing. I guess at this point I've noticed you and it's like, ah, oh, there you are. I'm just <laughs> like, <laughs> putting my head, yeah, just putting my head at the door. It's like, <coughs> yeah, just putting my head at the door, <laughs> looking at the, um, <laughs> looking at the book that's got its attention on me. It's like, door, oh, now. Um, it's got, it's got, my, it's got its eyes on me. <laughs> I make a motion to ask if he's sure he'll be okay by himself. Go for it. I've got this one. Uh, so, I should uh, be fine be for one good hit. <laughs> Alright. One good I'll... hit, and I should be out of out the door. <laughs> Alright, so then I use cunning action and I dash out <laughs> the door. The, right. the gesture is appreciated. All right, Let so me know you... the gesture was appreciated. So you are definitely out of the battle, M. Yep. I've left the battle. Alright, Neko. Your rogue has left you, and you are badly poisoned, so you're gonna take two minus two damage again. And, um... <laughs> Please take note, I, I, I do not him. have enough... Please take note, I do not have enough lay on, lay on hand points to kill you with poison. <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, just dash the furthest you can to the door. Uh, Neko, and then use your... Uh, hey, your... don't you have a feat? Uh, because of your cat thing, or whatever? Yeah, I do, like, 60 feet. Yeah, so use that to get close to the door, and then use your dash to go the rest of the way out. 
Ah, uh, okay. Then I'll do that. Um, mm. probably around yeah. here. Yeah. And then my good. yeah, the second action to just get out of the way. All right. Do you want to say anything to Speedy as you run out? Uh, see ya later. Um, uh, <laughs> <Yeah. Well, laughs> the cat made it out. You're right. In a while, crocodile. <laughs> Stab cat's out. Box boys out. It's Rich kid's out. Let's go. All right. Rich kid. <laughs> oh, I don't. No, no, no. Can I enter battle again as an enemy this time? <laughs> <Just come. laughs> I'm giving everybody nicknames at this point. I don't have a good one yet for you. I mean, sure, we might get a. So, what do you want to do? I was just gonna leave. What does what does Nagi want to do? Uh, I want to blow up the entire. Uh, I want to use my nuclear missile, print a mist rug, get a tactical uh, nuke. So, uh, well, look at the time. You're still a level two. No. Uh, yeah, I'm out. Carrying a mist is like yeah. Let's get out of here before the the other books cause some chaos. She simply nods and agrees with you. And that's the end of the battle. Well done, everyone. No I one died. So you would have yeeted Miss at the book and then ran. <laughs> <laughs> I've got nine hit points. I could take a good hit from one of these guys. Oh my god. You got. I'm, at the moment, the tech hits member. <laughs> fucking neat one of the pros. The, the important character in the whole DD campaign. Oh, Jesus Christ. I admit, yeah. I was very tempted to take the defense bonus for my class batch. Probably would have put me into an armor class of 18. Is it Miss M like immortal? I'm. Who said I'm immortal? Well, you got plot armor. She's important, but that doesn't mean they're immortal. I, plot armor. I failed a dead save last session. Do I? Plot <laughs> armor. Anyway, okay, so the session ends there, and you guys run out of the library, and um, as you do, you run, you see Mario Bell and Principal Cativo run into the library, and uh, they just see, you guys are pretty much alright, except for Miss, which is, um, well, but our heist is still carrying her in his arms, um, because, you know, he's a Paladin, very, very, very Paladin-like to save people. <laughs> I'm not a corporate Sarah, eight. shut up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Maribel goes and asks, uh, are you guys all right? Is everything fine? What happened in there? I, I, we couldn't, we couldn't get in for some odd reason. Uh, I'm going to use Thieves come to M. Sorry, sorry. Oh, I... Can you say that again? Oh, uh... I'm going to use Thieves come to M. Okay, go for it. Uh, so the um, I it, it you wanna get some drinks later, mate? I sure. I found a little sparkle. A little and uh, eyes. the message that I want to convey is like telling him to shut up about the treasure. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, my can trip to Neko is just to inform him that I found something shiny. Got a little twinkle in my eye. <laughs> And then he's like, it's very, um, it's, he's just like, you two at the back, you're being asked a question. Please, please answer correctly. Uh, I can answer. <laughs> yeah, I sense a evil suddenly showed up in the library and then the books became animated and attacked us. I leave out the, I do not mention that I sense a celestial presence. Not yet. Ah, I see. Very interesting. Uh, I look, uh, I look at uh, Zim and go, the books attacked you? I was having a nice conversation with a law book. Us? Oh, really? Hey, yeah. We got attacked by manga. <laughs> <coughs> and then Prindus, um, Principal oh, Cativo is like, <laughs> do you evil presence in Mezzanotta Academy? This is unheard of. Unbelievable. I'm a paladin. This is literally stop. something I do. Sense evil. Yeah, and then Maribel is like, remember those new classes we introduced? One of them was the Paladins, and um, th that's one of the uh, good Paladins able to detect celestial and evil presence pretty easily, and the fact that you can say that so confidently as you speak, she turns to you, Belheist. I'm quite impressed by your abilities. You, 
I'm sure you'll be a great paladin once you graduate from Mezzanotta Academy. Paladin. Paladin. <laughs> your, your teammates are mocking you, paladin. <laughs> <laughs> we're not mocking him. We're just mocking the teacher. Yeah, we're no, they're mocking the librarian. <laughs> we're mocking our DM. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you guys die next session. Anyway! You try to kill us every session. This is still day one. <laughs> There's no, it's nothing new under the sun. <laughs> so, anyway, um, Princess Kati Prince Principal Kativo goes to you two, Troublemakers, Neko, and Tokemi. And he asks you with a very stern voice, his arms are crossed, whatever to you two. They, were you two also attacked by the books? Yes, we were. The books came at us with an intent to kill. See, see, see these uh, battle wounds I have? The book attacks. And then I just like, <laughs> I, mean, I just take the, the one piece <laughs> of the remaining children's book and just show it into his face. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, I was attacked by a children's book, yeah, but look I, what I, it became. I put my arms all over my body, like, what do you think? You were attacked by nursery rhyme. I'm sorry. Uh, and he's just like, he picks up the paper and he's just like, this is one of the, one of our rarest collections in the library. <laughs> I can't, I can't believe it's. Is it shut it up? Is it the man? Can we save it still? It's a children's book! I mean, if you have a cool ending, right? Oh! This is what attacked uh, Neko. Oh my god. A first edition <laughs> children's book. <laughs> Signed by Nursery Rhyme herself. Yes! <laughs> Signed by Nursery Rhyme and Alice. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and he's just like. He, he's trying not to cry because he was just like. He composes himself. It's fine. It's fine. It's. The safety of the students is what is more important and. He can't fathom to hold the broken children's books or page, so he gives it back to you, Neko. Just do whatever you want with it. I can't bear to look at it anymore. He try, you know, a very dramatic way to dry his tears away. <laughs> I can't believe it's gone. Um. Anyway, just, just, just if that's the case, uh, he goes to uh, you, uh, Leonardo. How were you attacked by books? How are you? Are you, were you not hurt severely? Eternally? Uh, I found myself at death's door at a second. Okay, very well. Uh, I'll go, we'll go with that. Um, and then it's like, very well, uh, that's the case. I will send you uh, all home. We'll clean up the library. Uh, please rest well, and we'll see you tomorrow. And with that, we'll take oh, a look. Uh, before before that, uh, I'm just gonna tell the tell the principal. Yes. Any pieces of this children's book you find, hand it back to me. <laughs> <laughs> he really wants the book. He'll go. I see this as a sign of my victory. <laughs> <laughs> Do we still have to write the paper? And then he's like, he's so look, he's very trying to try the tears from his eyes dramatically. A very expensive price to pay for victory. He nods and like very well. It's I'll do my best, but oh, these we still pages. have to write the paper. We'll get that to it in the minute. So um, he says, and you know, he composes himself, gets back to that stern principal attitude, and said, "Meet me tomorrow at the principal's office. We'll discuss what's happened here and your task there as well." And so that's gonna be our long rest for the session. And you guys, we're gonna take a quick break uh, while we're at it. So I'll be a five minute break. Feel free to get snacks or a toilet or a drink, and I'll call you. Yeah. So chat will be a five minute break, but feel free to, you guys can stay here. I'll be right back. Wait, maybe I can try opening chat. <laughs> See what people are saying. All right, chat. I say we start a revolution. I want to overthrow the current dictator. 
Wait, of, and, uh, and per um, later, can you like check what you got? That shiny thing? Uh, yeah, I'll check, but I'll have to do a perception check when... Okay, if it's if it's worth it, I'll, I'll trade you one of those bag of holdings for it, alright? <laughs> I can persuade well, one, one of you. One of those just bags is already mine, but we can still share the gold thing. Whatever. You know what? I can persuade one of you to just give me a hand one. over your ass. I was the one you nearly let the book to me! <laughs> All right, know something? Fine, you nearly let the book to me because of your cringe! <laughs> hey, hey, hey. It, it was too distracting. At least it didn't go. Hold on. Neko, roll a, roll a charisma saving check after I roll this. Damn it. Oh my god. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Nah, nah, bro. Not right now, not right now. And that's, that's, that's no way in hell you're gonna do it. You're gonna have to roll a disadvantage, man. It's okay, I have favor by the gods. There we go. <laughs> Looks Alright, Neko, you gotta roll it for saving persuading. Saving charisma. It's a break right now, dude. It's a five minute break. He really wants the battle. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Wait, but hang on. You don't know that he has a bag. Alright, I finally got the chat working. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm an all-seeing entity. <laughs> <laughs> He's really going for it! What are you guys doing? What did I miss? He's trying to counter my, uh, nat 20, uh... How many rolls uh, <laughs> Persuasion. Oh, there no, we got three. You, you still failed, though, because I have two points higher than you. <laughs> okay. You can't we... win. Are you guys ready to start, or you got, like, more of a break? Uh, I think Meow went to... Oh, Meow's not here. Okay, cool. All right, no I think problem. Meow went to the bathroom. I'll... I'll just grab something to eat, then. Be right back. Why the doing Meow! The... Roll perception on that little gold dust I found. Or I... Like history or insight or something. <coughs> Sorry, can you say that again? What would you like to roll <laughs> to determine what the... Um... Would we say investigation? Would that be uh, a... I <laughs> think so. Well, hang on. I'll roll perception first to determine what type of... Uh, Item it. Okay, we can do that while the others are not around. So 16. 16? Alright, so what do you have discovered is that it's a piece of jewellery. It is a piece of jewellery. It is an earring. Okay, so now I'll use history to check how old it is. Yes. Um, so, you look at it. And you see that it's, you can see it's a earring... Um, a satin earring, the ring uh, with diamond, with a diamond star hanging on it, hanging off at the bottom of the satin earring. So the satin itself is sapphires. The ring of the satin is gold. At the bottom is a diamond encrusted stars. Um, but you can tell it's been a few scratches on it. Like, not like really a lot of scratches, but really faintly. Um, you, there is some age to this earring. Didn't you say it was important? It like, is important. But only uh, M uh, has it right now. I'll use investigation to see if there's anything hidden within it or if it has any uh, bonus stats. Go for it. 18. Uh, okay, give me a minute. Um. There's nothing hidden on it, um, but you feel there could be some magic behind it. It feels like a magical item. This came from a, a magazine. It came from a kid's magazine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just because it came from there doesn't mean it originated from there. True. So it's an earring that has magical properties. Yes. So 
that's good enough for now. Yeah, I'm just writing this down for you. Oh, uh, Nagi, check if hmm. you have uh, medicine kits. Hmm? Check if you have any medicine kits in your uh, inventory. Why? Because if someone goes down, uh, you use medicine kit to stop, uh, to death save. So you can bring them back up at what? I literally have healing skills. Oh, that is true. But just in case, uh, if your healing's already used up, a medicine kit is good if someone's down. I literally have like five different healing spells. Wait, really? No. At no. least two, I know. Uh. <coughs> yeah, because I have five. I could like just hand one out to everyone else, just in case. Yeah, you could feel free to do that. Absolutely. <laughs> well, it depends on everyone. Like so I have healing hands. Yes. Uh, and then from my sorcerer origin. Hold on, I'm just. I also have cure wounds. Uh, I know I have another one somewhere. Yes. Yeah. Hold on. I gotta find this image. All right, I'm back. Hello, is everyone back yet? I yeah, just got yeah, some popcorn. Back. Okay, just give me a minute. I am. Bonk. Think. All right, one more minute, guys. Mm -hmm. Just getting the image for M. So he has something Wait. to work with. Ah, my cheeks are sore. Anyways. Oh yeah, it's the um, the book in both me and um. Now I get some story items. Yes, it should be there. You should have access to it. Tell me. Yeah, like I got you access to it. Do you have access, Nagi? <laughs> mm-hmm. I do. Sweet. Just double checking. That's all. Who's playing piano? I am. Okay, that's all right. Because I have that ability. In real life. Okay. All right, and there's a picture of the earring. Enjoy. Oh, uh, where is it? It's in. You should have access. It's called a mysterious earring. You should have uh, access to it. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Very pretty. I like that earring. Anyway. Okay. Let me just. Let's get to it. So the next day has arrived, the second day of Mesolito Academy. It took <laughs> how many sessions? Three? Look, I, I, I wasn't planning to go this long. Alright, uh, I'll stop the piano. Uh, <laughs> it's D&D, you never know how long shit takes. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? This is my first campaign, so I can't plan things shit. Oh, okay. no, that's fine. I mean, I remember I was playing one campaign and it took us like almost 20 God, the final session is going to take like a month. One uh, oh, well, I, I, I want, this is a mini campaign, guys, so. Well, see, that's the thing, like, it all depends on like, uh, how the battle goes and whatnot. I've been, I've had like one go 22 sessions before we went to school 
one full day. Yeah, it can be like that. Yeah, it has. I don't I'm mind like... if it takes a bit, just because I am kind of invested in what's happening. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, for me, it took us five sessions to get out of a dungeon, so uh, anything goes, really. <laughs> There's a reason why I haven't mentioned the Celestial to the principal and such yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're at the principal's office to discuss what has happened in the library. And uh, he's on his desk there, and he... um. He says, I apologize for what has happened to you guys so far at your first day of Mezzanotta Academy, uh, being attacked by goblins uh, and bats, which is, you know, that's on my fault. I did not, we did not secure it enough for you students. You come here for a safe learning environment and that was what you agree at the Great Hall. And I also apologize for what has happened in the library. Um, I don't know exactly what has caused for the books to erupt like that. In fact, it's never ever happened that the books come alive on their own. It's such a strange phenomenon. I do have my best scholars looking in the situation as to why that has happened. So I do apologize. Um, if there's anything I can compensate you with you guys, I'll be happy to compensate you guys on. Yeah, I asked the principal for an antidote for our meow since he is poisoned. Did you have a long rest? We had a long rest. Yeah. So there's no more poison. Okay. No more poison. Okay. And all and if you have if you used any spell slots last battle, it's all refreshed. Yeah. Um, yes. You rogues don't use spells, you don't have to worry about anything, but my other two, your spell slots have been refreshed. Okay. <laughs> so anyway. Uh, because of what has happened yesterday, Principal Kativa says, I'll be a little bit lenient on the little task that I gave you guys on about. So, what, uh, what did you learn about the founder? Um, because... You gave us a day to find out who the founder is. It hasn't even been a day yet. I'm yeah, it has. We had the long rest. Yeah, the long rest. It's been a day. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, uh, what I found is if we keep digging into what? the family, we'll be cursed because that's what we were told. And we were oh. told not to keep digging. This is a oral presentation, so could you be a gentleman and introduce yourself first? Because <laughs> if you haven't realized, none of you guys have introduced to each other and you don't know each other's names. <laughs> There's a reason why I'm using nicknames. <laughs> Sucks for the hell. <laughs> so, he, he okay. pointed you I took any... I Introduce yourself. Them. Yep. I am Solid Snake. <laughs> what a no, I'm and, uh, <laughs> With your task that you have assigned to us, we have asked uh, the ex or previous guardian, and she says it's best if we don't look into it. Uh, we, we for introductions before. first. Eh, <laughs> that's okay. I already said my introduction. My name, Tokemi. That's all you need to know. You uh, know the last name? Well, to Kemi, that is. In, I'm glad if you've introduced yourself to Luna Gal Simono, which is. She's never been a guardian, but she, her family is in a line of guardians. That is what they do. And she's a highly respected member of our society and school. I'm that glad. Society? When she told me to stop digging into it because, uh. <coughs> I, uh I decided to listen to her because, uh. Of a stature and status. I like to. Well. That's very wise of you, and I respect you for doing that. But do, I like to remind you that. Well, you could learn more if you find the current guardian. Mm, with my life on the line, uh, I think I'd like to not risk that. You. I, I like to live. Okay, I res that's fair enough after what happened recently. Lee, I uh, points at the skinny, frail white boy. Introduce yourself, and <laughs> what would you? What have you learned about the founder? The automatic description. Ah, oh, yes, the skinny white boy. Yeah, his name is Twigs. <laughs> <laughs> at least we're not calling you rich boy. <laughs> okay, rich Twigs. <laughs> God, I'm not earning myself a good rap, even though I can just persuade yourself to kill yourself. Anyways, <laughs> my name is Leonardo Rigert. Uh, we have a. Uh, 
We had started work by uh, grabbing this book known as The Deities of the Forgotten Realms. Mm, yes, that's a, uh, that's a highly um, well-requested book about the Founder. I can guarantee when you When it spawn in in my hands now? Hmm? So I did say his name. Oh, yes, yeah, so um, it comes out of, uh, I assume, Speedy's bag, and it flutters in front of, between Nagi and Speedy, and it, it like, use, has one page, and it's, like, like waving, but it's only, like, with one hand, one page, doing a waving action. <laughs> I look at Meow. How much do you think that book's worth? <laughs> <laughs> Are uh, using thieves cunt? Yeah, using thieves cunt. How much do you think that book's worth? I think <laughs> that book's worth for you. <laughs> they suddenly feel a bit of intimidation as they remember that Sexton Hale is standing right next to them. <laughs> oh, my mom's calling me. Okay. No problem. Okay. So I'll. Um... And it's like, why they speak in such a weird language? Is this what, is this what the new generation talk speak like? He's referring to thieves can't. He doesn't understand uh, a word of it. Um, it's our natural. It's our. Uh, it's a. It's a language. common language. It's too bad that you haven't heard of it yet. So. It's drive. <laughs> Roll deception. Roll deception. You're deceiving him. Are you not? 19. He slightly believes you. It is indeed a language he has heard of its presence. But doesn't believe it's a natural language because the words coming out of it makes no sense. Oh, Wait a minute. Is that Andy and the Jones in the corner of the room? <laughs> now, he, now he uh, points at the boy with the art. Uh, with the large amounts of armor and go, what did you have to, what have you discovered about the founder? All right, so give me a second, bring up the... I'm a Balgeist Hale. Uh, and I found, and what I've discovered is that um, founder existed over a thousand years ago and they've been guarded by the guardians for a very long time. Nobody really knows what the founder was like, they were male, or female, just that they're very highly revered, and they, well, founded the academy. Ah, <laughs> uh, a top A student. I can already feel it in my bones. Pr Principal Cativo is enjoy it. You know that someone is like give it a decent, decent look at the who the founder is, and he says. Now with this strangely animated book of y yours, the deities of the Forbidden Lands, uh, you might learn more of the founder in due time. Um, but I'm, yeah, I'm very happy with that re report, Balheist. I'm very impressed with you. And then he finally points at the near murder, murderer of a student. Murderer. At the only unnot human uh, companionship in this group, and goes, "Well, what have you discovered about the founder? I hope you uh, found some fate in her in them while you were gone. I was gone." All right, so I'm gonna use my position of privilege, mm. and <laughs> yeah, and I'm gonna go like, with all due respect, so Riga, uh. According to the recent events, I have decided, just like my fellow friend Snake here, to not take part in learning more about the Founder, as it might cost me my life. That's... do you honestly believe that rumor? Yes. Well, yeah, I mean, we got attacked twice. Because we nearly died! <laughs> but no one's died! <laughs> Don't like, believe such have a you seen me <laughs> I was Were well, you dead? <laughs> I'll I believe you if you die. The principal's just like I know I've I've taught in the school for over twenty years and not one of my students have died from learning about the so, founder. So I... with all due respect, <laughs> when you were talking to me at the library yesterday, I was Badly poisoned and about to die. 
<laughs> Why were you poisoned? On that day, that I was lying on the <laughs> Why were you poisoned? Why were you poisoned? The book poisoned him. <laughs> yes, indeed. It poisoned him when it gave him a paper cut. Roll deception. Those books. Roll deception. All right. Okay. Both of us or just me? Just uh, just Nico. No! He can't tell it. The principal crosses his arms and he is a, a bit upset. The books that we get in our library are in the pristine of condition, blessed by the founder her themselves. Oh, so They're... the founder her. Uh, <laughs> oh, we learned then, no, I'm gonna I'm not, I'm gonna counteract his statement saying that well if the books were in such pristine condition, why did they attack us in the first place? That's what my scholars are finding out. Bell goes rising. Yeah, so your books are clearly not in pristine condition then. <laughs> I look at Belgas, you hear that? Sound of the uh, cheek. <laughs> he raises an eyebrow, but nobody notices. <laughs> That's. <laughs> Until I see your dead body in my school, I do not believe oh my God. a word that the founder kills my students. I have been here 20 years, you have been here for a day, no one has died, have they not? When did I, we say you, we thought it was the founder that caused this? You'll yeah, see because, soon. Um, because the more you are learning about the founder, more strange things happen around you. But we never said it was the founder that was causing it. Just that there's a That's curse. It. It's, it's a curse. It's assumed. It's, rela it's related to the founder. The found you don't know if the founder is causing it, but every time you do research on the founder, these things seem to happen. Yeah, which is why me and Neko have decided to... Uh... Not do the homework. Not because we're lazy, but just because we didn't want to get killed. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I don't want to cause a scene. You will be one of my most difficult students yet, Neko. <laughs> but we'll work around the issue we have, you and, and me. I proceed to uh, use Steve's con to, to tell M that, oh my god, this guy's a huge bastard. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> How would you like to say it? <laughs> Get a load of this guy, eh? <laughs> this, this man, <laughs> this man is as awesome as a squirrel eating apples. <laughs> uh, anyway. Man, they're still trying to get kicked out. <laughs> now, uh, Nico, I, I have heard from Maybell that you may have a cursed item with you. He's he changed the topic. Yes. May I have a look at it? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the book of um Mr. Oh, the book that can mess you up. <laughs> that was a good time to get rid of it. <laughs> you might actually be able to get rid of it. Oh wait, no, wait, hold on. I, I strike a deal with him, like um if if you are if you are able to provide me with any fragments of that children's book yesterday, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll pass you. I'll pass you the cursed book. We're still cleaning up the library, but uh, I will send you any pages of that book to your dormitory uh, as soon as okay. we can. Pinky promise. An unusual. Do we, do we have a promise. pinky promise? I will promise you that with you. Just feel, <laughs> feel free to bring it up from time to time. He's trying not to cry again because that was a first edition nursery rhyme book signed by okay, Alice then himself. I, yeah, I passed him the book of misspellings. Alright. Okay, it's like, and he looks at the book of misspellings and he's just like, how very strange. This is a handmade book by a five year old. To think it had, to think it had such. You sure this is cursed? <laughs> uh, why not you try it out for yourself? It's alright. Uh, uh, at the school, we do forbid these cursed items. Sometimes some students think want to be funny and bring cursed items into my premises. Um, but don't worry, we have sorcerers and bards and clerics here that we use an incantation to uh, clear these uh, cursed items for you, so you don't have to worry about having your dagger turn right. into a, a digger or a shitter or, or whatever like that. <laughs> a shitter? <laughs> yeah. 
Now, Nagi, you, do you see something in your inventory? Yeah, a letter. Yes, um, I, would you like to read that letter? I already know what's in it. You can click on it. Yeah, I know. I've already read it. Yeah. Yeah, but you're meant to read it out to the principal. <laughs> oh, uh, sure. Mr. Director, I have a, uh, letter uh, a, that I have been given. A letter of recommendation? We have already accepted the ones we sent last year. I'm the one who personally signs them off personally. The fact that you have one at this this light in the academy year is very interesting. May I have a look at it? Yes. Here. So he accepts the letter and he reads out Dear Leonardo Reinhardt, we are excited to say that we are accepting your application to enroll in Mezzanotto Academy for the new school year. Please show this letter to the principal Cativo on your day of school. Thank you so much and we are excited to see you at Mezzanotto Academy and this letter is signed off by Principal Cativo. What you seem you assume the signature is done by him. And he goes, I mean, it's not strange for students with these letters to arrive home late due to travel. This is a new one for me. And he looks, the wax stamp and the back of our dress is written in a certain font. But your name is not in our books. I don't recall writing a letter to a Leonardo. What would you like to say to this? What do I say? I, if you need somebody to vouch your spell casting abilities, uh, we've got some, I've got first hand experience about how good it is. <laughs> <laughs> He's worried that you haven't answered yet. I I'm not sure what to say, sir. I got this letter from my homeland and found it to be a escape from my current school. I see. Well, I don't want to assume you have faked it. This isn't the first time I've had thieves enroll as students to steal knowledge of the founder for a good amount of coin before. You don't seem to be the type to steal things from my premises. Although it's, it's your well to invest it now for me to simply disregard you, I will allow you and I'll accept this letter. Sometimes letters do come in late. It's nothing new. Perhaps this letter is a sign that maybe the founder is finally returning to us. What do you guys like to do now? Uh, can I like, indicate to the others I want to chat with them afterwards? <laughs> yeah, like, go outside for it. After. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just to uh, make sure the others like. Yeah, after all, down here, I want to have a quick chat. A couple things I wanted to mention to you. <laughs> I would like to ask. For my short sword back. <laughs> Please, so may I have my short sword back? I mean, Bro, we've been attacked by persuasion. I, I mean, all right. We've been attacked by goblins and books. I think he really. Seventeen. Did. Yeah, and I really need the short sword back. This would the act. But personally, I don't want to return the short sword, but with the things that are happening, the strange events that are happening in the school, I will allow and return your short sword. Nice. Time to do more stabbing. Stab cats, go you small back. Oh boy. Oh. Alright, what do you guys, uh, the other two, what would you guys like to do? Uh... BD is asking if he can chat with you guys outside. Yeah, look at him and was like, just make like a tree and I'll leave. <laughs> I, I wasn't. 
I want to see the director's reaction to these supposed celestial sightings. They okay, don't know yet. I haven't mentioned that for no, since you Celestial. you have not mentioned this anything Celestial. I've been keeping it a secret for a reason. Just, just in case. <laughs> Would you like to ask him anyway? I don't think they know. I don't think I've actually told any of you guys of sent Celestial yet. Yeah, yeah. you have. You, you have at the, uh, at the room. Remember? Yeah, just at the room. But yeah. they don't know if it's to You kept again. it yourself at the library. library. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So with that, he says, I will allow you guys to, um, go. You can. It's currently the recess break. You can, uh, feel free to, um, do whatever you like. He says, I will now have to go back to the library and make sure, um, everything is fine. And. Yeah, you guys are now uh, outside the principal's office in another All right, the, uh... first thing I'm gonna do is uh, Thieves Khan to M. Okay, what are you gonna My... do? It's time to get some drinks at the ball. <laughs> with, the real, with the real meaning being, it's time to rob some people. <laughs> so... Right, right yo, let's just wait for these lads to... Uh... Finish having a little meeting, and then let's go for a drink at the pool. Oh my god! All right, Mike. We're gonna go to the school cafeteria and uh, rob people there. We have clapped to me. Can we be uh, not involved? Oh no, uh, you guys. I mean, we are using thieves' cards. So you don't even know what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't understand them. Can I understand shit, Captain? <laughs> Captain, Captain, look. What? what? We are the captain now. Go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. So, Speedy, you invited them into the whole one of the many hallways of the school. What do you guys want to talk about? I guess question you should So, with the book screaming about, uh, did the book say anything interesting to you as you were uh, in the scuffle with them? Yeah, uh, chameleon. For. For me, we we got a couple of these, but as one burned up, it said chosen. Oh no, I, I could only hear the principal's cries when I was shredding that first edition book. <laughs> <laughs> was it a cry? I'm not surprised the stab cat managed to wreck a really expensive book. Hey, the book is that confirmed. He has every right to defend itself. Uh, <coughs> I mean, yes, but no, I'm not you surprised you somehow the, the broke it. Never one. fought against me. See, I, I thought the, I thought Neko was gonna persuade the books like everyone else was doing, but he just like no stabby stabby slash slash. He's the stab cat. What did you wait, expect? Wait, wait, wait. A murderer he didn't attacked the book. The book fell onto his sword. <laughs> both <laughs> times. <laughs> yes, both times. Well. Anyway. Multiple times, yes. <laughs> is Nagi here yet? Is he still talking, by the way? Yeah, I think it's... Oh, no, he's here. Okay, Nagi, are you here with us yet? I still am here. Okay, uh, so, so yeah. Speedy's drunk. asking if you about the, the words that the books spoke uh, of. Yeah, I already told uh, uh, my book said chameleon as it died. I don't have any deviation. Yeah, it's a yes. thief, thief, thief. Yeah, and the uh, that big chunky Sorry. book uh, spelt out chosen as it burned away. Wait, what about the book that you guys have? I'll ask it questions. See what if those me uh, words mean anything to it. Oh, it seems to be about forgotten realms, but we could give it a shot. Go for it. Do we have what you, all the words? The forgotten are? realms. Okay, so. The, the words, you've spoken the title of the book, and it appears in front of the four of you. It is now wondering what you guys wanted to do. Do uh, any of the following words mean anything to you? Uh, thief, chosen, chameleon, I uh, just guess you're into the others for what they had. Heard. Yeah, it was just thief and chameleon for me. Okay, so it flicks through the pages, what well, looks like endless pages because it's flicking through them so fast. 
It's a book about the deities, so... And it's... It shows up to a page of a deity called Siric, the God of Lies, Trickery and Strife. Well, that sounds like our god then, meow. <laughs> 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 That's what it thinks of with the three words you spoke it. So chameleon, which I guess would be deception, thief, trickery, or trickery would fall in under deception as well. Makes sense we get a deity out of this. Hmm. So what you guys don't find it strange that we were getting hounded earlier just before the golems attack, even though we didn't know anything about the founder, right? Yeah, that's mm. why I chose not to uh, do anything on the founder. Oh, that's the thing. I think it's targeting us even though we didn't even know anything. Maybe it's the principal's way of trying to get us killed. Knowing that uh, the more we dig into the founder, the more our lives are on the line. Or maybe it's trying to punish us for killing a student nearly. Nearly. Keyword, nearly, but we saved him. Yeah, he's not dead yet. So... Which reminds me, I wonder where he is. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I moved us to a different hallway. <laughs> right? <laughs> Where's the infirmary at? Where is it? Uh... Um... I can just feel Saxon just dragging me and Neko by the gold. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've got the strength for it. <laughs> Saxon is uh, like being the big brother right now. No more stealing. No more murder. <laughs> As we're walking along, can I open up the book to uh, another page? Yeah, what page you want to open it to? Uh, the Goddess of Magic. All right. Give me a minute. <laughs> I got it. Oh, did you know how many deities are in D and D? Jesus. A Shit lot. Ton. <laughs> That's why you're supposed to pick the select view. I know I did. I don't have everything on a word doc. Okay, so what do you? How do you want to say this to the book? Like, think of it like a Google search. You gotta put some keywords in there. Uh, book. Tell me what you know on uh. The goddess of magic, Mistra. Okay, and so the book nods at you. Like, I don't know how a book will, it just leans forward and back, nods. <laughs> and then it flicks through what seems to be endless pages, and it brings the page to Mister, uh, was it Mist Mistra, the goddess Mistra. of magic. Um, where do you want to start looking into the book? It just says she she was the god of magic. God, yeah, she's a she, yeah. Damn, was. <laughs> well, hang on, I'll be right back. Yeah, okay, no problem. Would you like to dig in further? Sure. Let's read at the start. She was the mother of all magic, a greater deity, and known to be the most strongest deity when it comes to magic. <laughs> sounds like Amazing. somebody on your sounds like somebody you really want to be on want on your side, eh, dude? Yeah. Would you like to know more? Uh, sure. You're gonna have to start rolling, uh, history, mm, history of investigation. I would say investigation. Roll investigation. Because there is bro. words in front of me. Yeah, but you see, uh, the more, let's see. the further uh, you scroll uh, down, the more you flick the pages, the more it is harder to open them. And the words are being my minus blurry. one intelligence. <laughs> 13. 13. That's alright. 
You have discovered that, um, where we, um, she used to be, hold on, let me get bloody notes, um, she was a god that was interested in the mortals and in how intelligent they were and this got her curious about them. Hmm. Is there anything you want? Is there something specific you want to search, search about Mistra? Uh, no momento. Doing a small few things on the the background. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Does anybody want to be as curious about what Nagi's doing? Want to interfere? What's he doing again? Sorry. <laughs> he is searching. <laughs> my bad, my bad. No, it's okay. He's searching, he's looking up the goddess of magic, Mistra. Oh. Uh, can I... I, can't, I can't really be bothered since I don't have magic. That's fair enough. Uh, I, just like... imagine... I, just yeah, I just imagine... I just put out a warning to him. It's like, careful. I'm, I'm getting an odd feeling about digging too deep at this... Uh, at this very moment, about the about this deity, <laughs> I just imagine Got feeling. Uh, Meow just like spacing Got out. Feeling. Yeah, it's pretty much. He yeah, did have an argument with the principal slightly. All right, I'm back. Sorry, what happened? Nah, Leo is looking into the goddess of Bistra, and you guys don't know why. <laughs> And I just point out, careful, I've got a gut feeling we don't want to dig too deep at the moment. <laughs> well, I mean, we can still find the basics, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just simply have said that Mistra was a god that was interested in humans and their knowledge. And was a god of magic. Wait, was a god of magic? Mm -hmm. Why am I more... Does that mean they're dead, or... Oh, we don't. Oh. We don't know yet. We you don't know. We just know that was was, and it's like we can dig further, but it's like slight hunch. Be careful. <laughs> don't worry, Nagi. I'll be adding this into the book as well as we go along. You don't have to remember everything. All right. So, uh, we done here, or? Well, uh, I guess one last thing is like. I've got oh. one other thing, but you have to keep it a secret. It's like, it's a hush hush, so nobody else, any what, so no other students or faculty around hears. So we whisper. While you guys are talking, uh, Neko is just staring, looking around for the infirmary. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so scared. All right. But yeah, can I, do I have all their attention, like, Secret hush hush and that? Yeah. Uh, yes, you have. I'm just gonna be like, oh, he'll be fine, I'll just uh, inform him later. Yeah. So it's like. So remember how I mentioned a sense of celestial presence in that room before the black smoke came in? I sense the faint one again in the library, but I don't want to mention it yet to any of the faculty. I've it's just a slight hunch for now that we want to keep on the down low until we learn a little bit more, but. There's something uh, off, well, in my opinion. The way I see it, both times. When I sense celestial power, evil's <laughs> not far behind. <laughs> both times you sensed it was when we were doing research on the founder, and that. You want to sense it again? I could try sensing now, but. Yeah, try it now. I mean, we're still on the path for. Uh, yeah, so one time. Yeah. All right. I guess I'll try to find sense. <laughs> and you do. And uh, you sent you sense it again. There's no evil this time. Just the celestial. But so you can't you can't pinpoint point if it's one, three, <clears throat> five. You just know that. I they're... can't pinpoint where it is, but I feel something celestial. No evil this time, but. Remember. Oh. Don't, don't, 
Don't bring it up to the others yet. Okay. I've got Heavenly a feeling we... music. That, that hmm? also means that, one, we should be careful because both times you sense evil with a celestial presence misses with us. What if she has something to do with the evil presence? Ooh. Like I said, keep on the hush for now. I, I got a feeling we don't want to spread this around just yet. We don't know the full extent of what this means. And as the old saying goes, back in my woodcutting village, assuming makes an ass out of you and me. <laughs> well, if you'd like, uh, I did find a book on the founder when me and Neko were going through other students' bags. You can have that if you want. Quote, unquote. We were borrowing from other students. <laughs> hey, no, guys, excuse me, let's fight. It's just side yes, eye, but let's pass at the moment because uh, he doesn't want to go back to the library right now either. <laughs> After I'm everything going... has happened, I don't want to go back to that library. All right. I'm I'll... going to investigate further. Yeah, I'll borrow that book from you for now. But yeah, me and meow, we'll check out the cafeteria see if there's anything there that any information there. Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, As, uh, when people are eating, they like to talk. So maybe yeah, we'll make up. sure you get. Hey, he just gives them a look at the eyes, like. Make sure you get at least, as long as you get at least one bit of info. Okay. Hey, wasn't the director supposed to give us copper or silver or something? I he, think he did. It just didn't get added to our inventory. Yeah, yeah I forgot we'll to add it. We can add a manually. What a cheapskate! What a cheapskate! How, how much was it? How was much it, copper? Sorry, was it three copper? I think. For three, the good kids. For the good kids and one copper for the bad kids. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I'm the good kid. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, sunshine. Anyways, Did another investigation check. Right? Investigation. Not... Go. Jesus. <laughs> 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 you finally got that one. <laughs> oh my god. Not one with a minus one. <laughs> what were you trying to find out? <laughs> what is a read more? <laughs> Investigation. Well, as you're trying to learn, <laughs> as you're trying to learn more about Mister the Goddess of Magic, the font suddenly shakes and fades away, and you're left with nothing but a blank page. <laughs> I'll just and have then, to try and again try at another to, time. And you try to flick forward, same thing. All that information is gone. Oh, Sorry, oh. Ice Guns. I think that might be the end of the road for this it's moment. Not, try again to... later. <laughs> try again, pretty much. It's not, it's not gone forever. It's, just it's that... not gone forever, but I think that might be enough for now. Wait yeah, a little bit before we way, try again, Ice Guns. You get information out of the book, it really depends on your roles. It is a ma book of magic, after all. So, I clap, uh... Saxon in the back and like, all right, me and Naka are gonna head off to the cafeteria. We'll catch you later. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, yeah. okay. And if you do learn something, I guess I'll return the book to its dormant state. Okay. All right. Thank you for everything. It was like, yeah. Uh, give you a flick through later. When we're out. Could I uh, borrow it tonight then? All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Just uh, so... be careful. <laughs> Just be careful with investigating anything. <laughs> I go sleep. Like I said, it's a gut feeling. Gut feeling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so um, the, my two kleptomaniacs have gone to the cafeteria. <laughs> um, what would the other two like to do? Would you like to go outside, courtyard? Anything, really. Me Actually, and I, would, I wouldn't mind heading out to the courtyard. I gotta read the book outside anyway. <laughs> at one okay. point. Okay, <laughs> alright. You can even talk to an old NPC that you've met in the past, guys, so don't be afraid to ask if you could do that. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> remember, Neko, we're, uh, we're in the cafeteria for to borrow some stuff and uh, information on... Uh, oh, this is, this is the wrong courtyard. Down. Yeah, sure, we go with that. Okay, um, I don't have a picture of a cafeteria, so just look at this. Um, <laughs> I, I didn't pretend it's a cafeteria. I didn't Hold expect like you a... guys to go there, okay? Um, just search up a cafeteria. <laughs> I just quickly uploaded. it. Um, <laughs> what would you like to do, Nagi? Uh, I 
I mean, what do you do at the cafeteria? Eat? Uh, yeah. And in this, in this, in this case, they're looking for gossip about the founder. Well, uh... Wait, I think I've dug too deep into, uh, things, you know? So, Nagi came with me and Neko to the cafeteria? Uh, if he wants to, it's up to him. It's grubbing time. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the courtyard. I'm fine for now. Yeah, he's All in right. the If this is the cafeteria, then, uh... Oh, wait. I could I, uh, take my food and bring it out to the courtyard again? Yeah, you could do that. I have to fulfill the uh, book's wishes. <laughs> sure, why not? Before you go, uh, I clap and I get back like, don't forget to get me and Neko some food. We'll meet you in the courtyard later. Remember, if you hear anything, just, uh, write it down. Okay, so, all Did right. Yeah, not get your own student cards. Huh? Oh, how no, the, uh, how does the food system the work in this game? Um, it's free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Free food. They can get it themselves then. Yeah, so you can pick up our shit while you're there. We're uh, information gathering. Me and Meow, Neko. Right. Go back to roll perception. Starve. Okay, roll oh. Let's go. Is it deception? <laughs> oh, wait, deception. Are we... deception is trying to fool someone. Uh, wait, no, that's deception. Do you... Okay, yeah, hold on, I'm trying oh, you want to, draw for, uh, to scope out the cafeteria. Yes. Yeah. Oh, should I roll perception now that I'm in the courtyard then? <laughs> uh, you just, let me just do this uh, one thing at a time. Yeah, I mean, if you want to do Nagi's first, since his one's just getting food and it's outside. Grubbin. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you go to the cafeteria. Nothing special here. You talk to whoever's in charge, and you grab the meal of your choice. And you wait, need... <laughs> what kind of what food is available today? Well... <laughs> I want to know. I mean, I would think that it it's just like a set meal. Like you don't get to choose at all since it's free. <laughs> Paco Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, oh, yeah, don't forget our uh, mine and Neko share. You guys can get your own shit. Hey, it's we're free. Investigating. We're investigating. We're uh, busy. We don't know actually, no, yeah, yeah. you two. You would accidentally steal all of the food. <laughs> I thought you were getting oh, food. Like, actually, I would be surprised if they did accidentally steal yeah, food. Yeah, so you should be the one getting the food. Three hundred servings <laughs> dedicated to the school. <laughs> That's why you should get the food. Yeah. I mean, other students gotta eat. <laughs> Did he just fall over Kevin? Oh. Never mind. Oh, hey, so the cafeteria has wine. It's not wine! It's right wine here. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, me, me and M already wrote Perception. Oh, yes, let me check. Uh, so okay. Okay, so you see, it's it's about about lunch time now, and yeah, it's getting full. There's plenty of students. You can't tell who's who. You can't see if you've recognised anyone yet, but it's getting starting to get full. All right. Uh, we will re-roll perception again to see where the biggest cluster of students are. Ah, uh, go and, ahead. And <laughs> Twenty and a ten. Okay, so meow doom, you don't see, um, you see, the li everywhere is a big cluster to you, but but to honestly, Kemi, you can just focus on M's one, <laughs> yo, since yeah, yo, we're just gonna be telling each other. All right, so to Ke so to Kemi, you notice in probably at the front where everyone's getting their food is probably the biggest bunch of people right now, cause food, a lot of people. <laughs> what about at the tables? Tables, um, the, I would say the smaller tables are getting f filled, no, you're getting filled first, um, but the larger tables for a larger group of students are starting to come in and there are some students starting to sit down and everything like that. What's Miss up to? She is currently in the infirmatory because she was near death's door. Okay, 
All right, so I look at Neko and I'm like, okay, we've got two choices. Either we borrow f- from the students at the cafeteria line, <laughs> which has a higher risk of getting caught because people are, you know, more perceptive over there. Or we can attack small tables on the other side where people will be busy eating the food. All right, let's go for the small tables then. Okay, so you guys walk to the numerous small tables. You see, no, 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 we don't want to be stealth our way there. Well, then roll yeah. stealth for me. What a thrill! <laughs> Fourteen. 25. 14 and 25. So, Kemi, you, you do a clean job and get there. And when oh, you, oh, get the, you, oh. get, you get there first, and you signal um, Neko when's a good time to, like, you know, come a few steps forward and then stop a few steps forward, you know, so you don't get caught, kind of thing. While also not getting caught yourself, and he successfully gets there too. Yep. Uh, when he gets now, I'll slight the hand, right? Uh, um, you, d- uh, you uh, don't no, know yeah, how I, many people are at this table yet. Oh, yeah, that's right. My bad. Uh, real perception, right? Uh, no, no, yeah. uh, I can to let uh, Neko know to go one way and I'll go the other. That way we don't you know, go in the same line and steal from the same students. Ah, uh, alright. And now we roll perception to see uh, who's here and who's not. Alright. Maybe like a left and right situation. <laughs> Both. Oh my them. god! <laughs> Though the thieves can plan was very, I would say, good on paper. Execution wise, not so much. You both and trip you, and fall. You be, um, yeah, you Takemi, you bumped into the corner of the chair and you fall over, and Neko um, trips over. You trip over and fall backwards on your ass, and no, um, I say trip over Takemi as well. Alerting uh, the entire cafeteria to your presence. I mean, it is well, very that, busy, so I don't think it'll be busy. <laughs> yeah, I think they'll yeah. be because it's busy. They'll just think, yeah. Busy. So the, 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 the person on the table definitely um, heard your fall and she looks back. And she recognizes you both. She looks up and waves at, what's up? Uh oh. And it's Luna Gelsimono that you guys are trying to uh, borrow from. <laughs> and she's very confused as to why. You, what are you two doing on piled up on piled up on one another? Oh um, man, I am so I... glad I brought popcorn for this. <laughs> so, <laughs> I remember uh, you. I'm... She points at Neko. You're the one that saved me at the grand hall. Thank you again for that. It's been a while, or a day, but nice to see you again. It's quite awkward to see you like that. She's got this really, really weird face on. Like, what are you doing like that? <laughs> and then I, uh, yeah, I just stand up, you know, brush off the dust and stuff. Uh, yeah. Appeal formal, uh, but yeah, yeah, oh yeah, I just kind of like tripped over this random dude here. My bad, my bad. I stand up as well, I was like, yeah, we were just, uh, I thought I saw something rolling on the floor. <laughs> and, uh, he tripped over me. We're all good though. Yep. I, I see. Nice to see you again too. That's good to hear. I heard about what happened in the library. Are you guys alright? Yeah. Wait, uh, is she just talking to Neko? Uh, both of you. Yeah, we're fine. You yeah, I'm fine as well. I heard that you end up destroying the principal's favorite children's book, first edition. Yeah, that's okay, kind it, of... came on, it came onto us first, okay? We didn't yeah. ask for it. So it really did come alive? I thought there was some silly rumor spreading across the school. I mean, Inanimated objects? Attacking fellow students? I mean, if you want, Neko can show you the pages. He's got the. Uh, he's got a. Nah. Uh, I, I can just use my position of privilege and she'll believe me anyway, right? She will believe you because she is also a position of privilege as well. I use uh, yeah. with uh, Neko and tell him to distract her while I slink away to the shadows and start our uh, borrowing session. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. <coughs> um. And then he can just use, like, hand signals, so we don't have to, like, talk it okay, all. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a fly nearby? You guys trying to swat something? <laughs> oh, uh, I think uh, I gotta get, uh, going. And as I slide away slowly out of, uh, her eyesight, her line of sight. You, she looks at you very strangely, like, you have a very strange friend, Neko. 
Uh, yeah. It's kind of like that. Just just met him like yesterday. Don't know what the dude's up to. He's probably doing drugs every day. Oh my goodness! I, why would someone? Why would Metanoto Academy accept someone like that? Can't I? I, I, don't, I don't know either, man. This is un unbelievable. Like, as a, as a, as a, someone from the Guardians, I have to let the principal know about that. Oh, the founder um, would not like this. Nah, I think he's good. I think he's all chill and stuff. I'll, I'll keep an eye on him. It's not. Yeah, you, you don't need to go out of your way like that. It's not your responsibility to look after a drugo. That's what your commoners call them, right? Oh, but like you see, I'm a noble as well, so I have the same responsibility as you. You're a noble as well. Well, I mean, we're a different type of nobles. We're we're related. We're destined to look after the founder. Yet it's been a thousand years, and we haven't heard word of him. I'm still wondering if it's any point to this guardian thing. Oh. Well, uh, you do you. Uh, it's getting it's getting late. Uh, lunch is almost over. I'm gonna go grab my food now, and I'll see you another day. I Goodbye. Hi, Neko. Look after your drug friend. And she uh, she yells that louder than and then, then, then louder than usual. She's like she got her hands around her mouth. Look after your drug friend. Make sure he doesn't overdose. And then just grabs a, a, a few of the students' attentions and uh, there may be some rumors come spreading around the school soon. <laughs> Druggy. Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Dummy thick and high out and high as a kite. Amazing. <laughs> I see what the train. I hear what I have been sent and I start twitching as I slink around the table. So, you, and did you and did you scout? Did you do the recon? Yeah, uh, I was learning. I was going to do the recon during the break between uh, the UN thing what happened. Alright, All right, then you can do it now, I guess. Alright, go do it. Perception to see who's paying attention and who wasn't. Um, too many people to tell who's paying what attention to where. Alright, uh... Oh, uh, then our roll, I guess. Yeah, Never mind. Uh, you're slightly embarrassed from, you know, <laughs> Chichili painted to Kemi as a drug addict at the most prestigious schools in the land. Um, so you aren't able to pay attention as well as you normally can. You're just thinking, oh, shit, how do I explain this to Takemi? Uh, Takemi, you take drugs now. It's something you're playing in your head. You're playing a speech in your head. <laughs> uh, all right, let's go slide of hand all this shit and see what we can grab. Okay. Oh my god. 12. Uh, <laughs> I would say to Kemi, you. Next. People are distracted with their food. Yeah, but. You, I would do. I. Uh, but you can't tell very well. Maybe some are paying attention. You still gonna risk it? I risk yeah. it for the biscuit. It's a 12, it's still a... Okay, amount. so... How would you want to describe your stealing actions? Uh, why the students are all focused uh, on their food. Mm -hmm. I uh, <coughs> slide my hand into their bag and pull out the first thing I touch. And you pull out... A, a pipe bomb. <laughs> <laughs> another, another poison needle. Uh, no, just <laughs> perhaps just a... What a pencil case. <laughs> It makes some noise as it rust as it rustles as you bring it down, and catching what ne nearly catching attention. If it wasn't so loud, you'd probably been caught. It's still a simple pencil case. I pocket it for now and uh, move on to the next table. God, you caught the. Hey, I'm gonna roll stealth. Yes. To go back to the stealth. Nineteen. Yeah. Yes. And then now perception to observe like if there are any students not paying attention, like focused on other things. So you see that the table that Na 
the kleptomaniac stole from she's touching her bag and she's a little bit worried that something may have been stolen but she hasn't alerted anyone yet ah uh, all right so i'm gonna go to the student next to her yes and then, and then i'm gonna roll sleight of hand okay and 16. you do a much cleaner job than uh t- to to Kemi and you steal a, a small bag of about maybe five five copper coins. Yo yo jackpot. Let's go. Now you guys have noticed the lunch break is starting to end and uh, you don't want to make too much of attention. So do you guys want to join the others in the courtyard? Not just yet. I still. <coughs> Nineteen. God. <laughs> I, would say, I would say it's a disadvantage because everyone is getting up and there's no much room to move. So can you roll that again a disadvantage for me? I would say God damn, damn you kleptomaniacs. Still a good still a good score regardless and you're able to hide yourselves amongst the starting uh, wave of students Whoa. returning to their Whoa. classrooms. Well wait, 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 yeah, wait. so since both of us are still in stealth, uh, we can just roll sleight of hand again, right? Yeah. Would it be Let's go. Or Seventeen. Did, did you just say amongst? 16. Oh no. Bum 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 ba bow, bow. So yeah, it's a 17 and a 16. So you guys do a decent job and you steal something that I have not decided upon yet. Um <laughs> <you know? laughs> I think I would say Meow, you stole a jar of slime, and to Kemi, you steal a handkerchief. Ice bomb. Uh, One of these days is gonna be a bomb. Jar in the guy's pocket. Jar of slime. These are students. What they do with slime, I don't know. You stole a jar of slime. All right, guys. Okay. Uh, Hey, who knows? It might be useful later. Just throw it at something and bang. We'll keep them for now. Okay. All right, uh, and now yeah, teachers yeah. are starting to come in, and they're pushing the line along, and um, that's enough stealing. Oh, no, go on. Um, it's a courtroom. Come on, let's go. Can you steal from the teachers? <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Uh, uh, to, uh, to, neck, to meow that we uh, should quickly grab some food before we leave. Oh, that's right. And we make a mad dash towards uh, the line. I'm ready for an SM to give you a pipe bomb. <laughs> Poison needle in my food? What? I, that sounds fun. I should probably do that. No, please. please. <laughs> Stop right. giving your ideas. Right, oh so my god, yeah, you're right. Pipe bomb. Pipe bomb. Pipe bomb. <laughs> All right, so then we just get our food and then uh, join the other two in the courtyard. Yep, yeah, you definitely do. I, I grabbed, but little uh, did you know, yeah. in your food, there's a pipe bomb. <laughs> God damn it. I grab uh, two shares of food and I hand one over to Saxon. <laughs> hey, thanks, man. <sighs> okay, so after that stealing session... <laughs> yeah, I look at Saxon and like, yeah, there was nothing uh, going on in the cafeteria. Oh we yeah, you're supposed to get information, you bloody liars. I look at him and like, you have information, there's a, apparently there's someone who's a drug addict in the school. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. There is a drug addict among us. <laughs> uh, I think no, I think it's not uh, how skinny he is. <laughs> oh my there's god! No way, there's no way he can be that skinny without taking drugs. Okay, <laughs> just a frail little boy. Okay, so you guys are now in the courtyard, and um, after you guys, I, I shoot after that exchange, and I'm assuming you're <laughs> eating some food. One of you guys noticed a glimmer past the school into the forest area. That's like so. There's a courtyard, and then it slowly leads to like the forest area of the school. Oh you hell see? no! <laughs> 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 After the, do we have to roll perception? 
I would I would not allow um normally yes but in this case uh no. I mean you can if you wanna okay. know what the light is if you wanna know. Yo Then you see, then you see what happened to uh Byla during uh <laughs> three houses you upon going into the light. forest. Ah fuck me. <laughs> Well, right. I have a 22, which means I can just inform you guys. Right? I'm too invested uh, in eating that I don't get. Right. I'm in e let me eating do that it, I don't let me do make it. out what the, uh, fool, what the glimmer is. So I see the glimmer, I just don't know what it is. It looks like something. It's not a person, but it doesn't look like it's dangerous. Um. Then I. Who is it again? Uh, I tell the person with divine sense to like use it. Who is it again? <laughs> it's uh, speedy. I can, I can, it's hail. Give me a second. I think there is a range. Yeah, 60 feet. You can oh. do Is it within 60 feet? You, I would say just. Alright. That's like, alright, I'll give it a shot. And you sense it, it's definitely just faintly celestial. Yeah. Jackpot, mm. time, to, time to stab it. Yeah. <laughs> Something <laughs> celestial. Uh, I'm not sensing evil this time, <coughs> but is just on the tip of my range for sense. So, okay, so this further solidifies this theory that we can uh, that you only sense evil when Miss is around. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> maybe. I mean, think about it. We, you sense evil twice, she was around. You sense no evil, she's not around. <laughs> oh, you have to bring this up to her when you guys decide to visit the infirmary eventually. Yeah, um, can I can I stab her first and then you guys also, just in case? <laughs> We're not likely to get questions and answers out of her that way. Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. So, are we heading towards that light, or are we gonna look for the infirmary first? Are you guys gonna I agree? Say we let, I say we let the rogues go first. Go away. Oh, that's true. Let the rogues do it, actually. <laughs> well, we're trying to find out where you guys want to go. <laughs> I'll stand in the distance. You guys go get it. <laughs> the light. <laughs> I mean, I am the best face tank at the moment. <laughs> I mean, Zachary's better off going with us. Actually, that is a good point if we want to test that theory. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we might as well go towards the Celestial Light to see, uh, see what's there. I mean, there's no evil so far, and you can't sense evil around us, so it's probably safe. Yeah, alright. I guess we can investigate the light. So we're all okay. agreeing to follow the light. For now, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. On our way there, I hand uh, Neko a box for stealth reasons. Yeah, box. Oh, it's called box time. Cause you still got quite a few, don't you? <laughs> I still got eight. So, uh, uh, boxes. <sighs> and so, all right, everyone seems to agree to follow the light, and um. So you follow it at cautious distance, not too close, not too light, uh, far away, and you follow it to an off, off beaten track, off beaten path. Um, you cross some bushes, um, but the the, the the floor is getting not too steep, but it's definitely going downwards, um, and there's more trees and shrubs around, and then. With uh, with this, with some guidance of your rogues looking up ahead with the perception checks and your tanky boy, you'll I, you reach what seems to be some sort of ruins in the middle of what you are now in the middle of the forest. I look at uh Saxon. All right, this looks like a uh, sacrificial ground or like you know a summoning ground, a ritual ground, a ruined temple. I think we should have brought Miss along if we had to sacrifice someone. Damn, I'm dead. Seriously? <laughs> Seriously, dude? Hey, this looks more like an altar of worship than anything. Uh, uh, an old one. Worships, people can sacrifice at altars of worship. Can I, like, do a history check? 
Not yeah, um, you can do perception first to see what you guys have to look at. Okay, uh. so you are correct that this is definitely ruins, but you're not sure if it's a temple, an art piece, or anything like that, or if it used to be a building of sorts. But you do Whoa. discover a number of statues scattered around the area. Uh, some have been chipped, some are missing an arm, a head. Um, there are plant life and moss growing around or on these statues. And, uh, yeah. Looks now, quite old. <laughs> can we investigate these statues? Yes, you can. Alright, so we all roll, we all roll, roll investigation. Yes. Damn, I can't oh, win. I've got low rolls all of I've been getting a lot of low rolls. Uh, so you all have a positive add-on. <laughs> I have a negative, and I rolled better than Every of yours is like negative something. <laughs> so intelligence is my negative stat. You notice that some of these statues are chipped, and some parts are missing, but most of them can be salvaged if they were given the proper care, except for one. There's one statue fairly in the middle that is completely broken in half. Can I investigate, like, how clean the break is? Uh, sure. Roll investigation again. Oh, oh fuck me! You can't tell, but you know, it's probably done a while ago. A long time ago. Like, you can't Are tell. Are there plaques on the... beneath the statues? Roll. Yeah. Roll. In, uh, I would say perception this time. Because you're looking for something. <laughs> Yes, there are, but they have been scratched out, or faded, or the signs of um, the statue had fallen on the plaque, so it's a bit of a dent on it. So, um, but you can't tell the name on this particular statue. Uh, I would like to roll perception to see if there are any summoning circles. Go for it. There are none. 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 Can I check, like, run history to get an idea of how old it is, or is that yeah. an investigation? Of course! History, go for it. 14, 14. You can tell from the way the plant life and the moss is growing over the statues, <laughs> and how chipped it is, and how unorganized the statues are. It's, um... It's big. Oh my it's, god! It's, You're it's, kidding! It's very so, old. It's very Mal old. Mal got to me if like, yeah, I've got a good idea of it while well, Nagi and Mal doing like, <laughs> They're just looking for There is plants here. <laughs> <laughs> there are plants everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but motherfucking green everywhere. <laughs> Miss DM, will you describe our, uh, well... our failures? <laughs> Well, like, since so Meow was so disappointed from not finding any sound in circles, he doesn't want to be and he doesn't want to do anything with these statues. Like they're old, it's green. Who cares? <laughs> no sound in circles. What a shame. And Nagi, yep. you um, you're like tired from all the walking that you've taken to come to this place. So like, yeah, I can't. I can't be. I can't see. I still look. Guy. I'm just a little guy, and I just still look the same to me. They're all being damaged. Um, very old. As you, uh, as you are looking at these statues, you notice that someone has been following you to these ruins. What would you guys like to uh, do? Can I roll perception to uh, look if there's any treasure around? Yeah. All right. No treasure. 19. There is no treasure. Oh. Just to see, right, this place so... isn't the most grandest to look at, and it looks like no one has been here for actually ever. Just where the, uh, the the plants are growing, doesn't look like there's any been any if any signs of anyone's been walking here or the grass been stepped on. Nothing like that. It's like a forgotten uh, ruin. So we see somebody's been following us. Yes. What do we want to check? Perception. <laughs> Hey, finally! Uh, <laughs> you see, uh, fucking finally! 
you see she has blonde hair green eyes and someone you've encountered before she recognizes you it's Is that you Lina? oh you remember my name yes it's me I was saw some glimmer from the courtyard after I had lunch and I followed it here and who would have known that you four would also follow that strange light as well she gets oh yeah get going oh I didn't and now I use I use he so. used con mm-hmm Wait, uh, hang on, who's going first? Oh, wait, no, no, you, you uh, go first. Oh, so Steve goes first. I was too. Yeah, I didn't feel anything malicious from it, so I thought it was alright for now to give it a look. What do you use your device? It worked, I don't know ruins all the way out here, though. <laughs> and then says, hmm. And she looks behind you and sees the statues, and she walks over to them, like, These statues are very old and not in good shape. How did you find them? She's asking all four of you guys, how did you guys yeah. find him? We tripped and fell down the hill. You, maybe. <laughs> you, maybe. It's hilarious, but no. We followed the light and this path was cleared. We uh, just... Oh, uh, the path just opened up and here we were. I, I feel like it wanted to be discovered for some reason. Well, well from what I can see, these could be statues of either people or gods. Back in the day, you must be an important person or a well-loved person by the people to get a statue commissioned of yourself. The mm. fact that there's so many here either must have been of one person or multiple of people. I nod my head to uh, Leo. It's like, hey, don't we have uh, something about old stuff on us? With some book? Yeah, can I'm gonna ask uh Nagi and Speedy like uh don't you guys have a book on like um history and stuff? Can't you use it? Yes, yes. Yeah. Forgotten realms of deities. Yeah, I let call you out. It's like the library book? I borrowed that last year. It was a great book and then she's like then it comes to life, she's like Ah It's alive ah, yeah We kind of uh goes help. Oh, Told you we'd get you outside, book. <sighs> the book is like fluttering like a butterfly, absolutely ecstatic. Let's finally see the sun <clears> after <throat> how long it's been in student school bags, never opened, never read. Right, while they are talking, I am going to use investigation on whatever that thing is in the middle. Uh, okay. Go for it. Oh, 14. It is a platform of where the broken half statue is standing. Was standing, uh, yeah. It it's seems like, like a, a no. It's not a sacrificial platform, <laughs> but it looks like a platform where you would go to um, where something was highly admired. That's the statue where the broken one is standing at. Book. Do you know anything on uh? An old temple near Mizanoan Academy. Okay, and it's flicking through its pages, and it doesn't get the ruins, but it does bring up the point that Luna said that back um, there was a time where statues of deities and gods were highly adored and highly commissioned by either the people or rich nobles and they will place them anywhere from their from their estates to schools to public uh, establishments hmm. what about um, what was it uh Miss Joroff, was it? Named the goddess? God? Mm hmm. It's like, was there any statues of uh, that? <laughs> and he's looking through his pages and he's trying to open one particular page, but it seems to be bounded by magic, so he can't give you the answer to that. Hmm. Maybe if you uh, stroke the book, the page. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think that one's gonna work. This is not the K-Zone magazine, won't work. The K-Zone magazine <laughs> was special. You don't know that. 
I am glad well, you used Pazusha. a different question. Was Cyric, the god of trickery and lies, popular enough to get uh, to gain statues in the past? Uh, we will have a look. Do I have to like roll something? Uh, yeah, we could do that. Uh, investigation, right? Yes. Uh, I'm not. I knew it! That, that knew moment it. when my investigation's higher. <laughs> I um, fucking knew it! Every it fucking uh, are you time. searching the same question? Or are you... Yeah, we're searching the same question. Okay, so you, he opens up the page and says, Serik definitely had worshippers. Um, so it could be a possibility that they worshipped him enough to create a statue of him. Hmm. And then Luna comes in and says, You know, there have been rumours that before the school was created, that this was a small town that adored the gods. And there have been a few books in the library, and this book is no exception. But I believe that this could have been once a town that adored the gods, but for some reason people have now forgotten about them. Traded it for magic and alchemy. Hmm. Bear goes to takes that info when it's just pondering. I would like to roll perception to uh, observe if there are any like things the the statues are holding, like okay. maybe like a sword, a bow. Okay. All right. 23. So you probably know some of the statues are holding some weapons, um, but they're kind of rusted and it's covered in moss. You're free to take them, but you're going to need someone to get them cleaned and fixed if they're going to be usable. You see, okay, uh, do I need strength to take them? I would say yes, because they've been in the statue's hands for some time. I could probably grab right. them for you if you want. Oh yeah, yeah. can you do that? Funny All right, so uh, so I just roll strength. Yep, as you're doing that, what do you want, Naki? Oh, you've got me, fucking! Why so, do I keep doing all these low fucking rolls? So, we know so. that uh, Excalibur, right? Stuck in the stone, right? Instead, just take the stone with you and make something <laughs> called the Rock's Caliber. Oh my god! Yeah, well, let me try that next. <laughs> so, uh, strength save. My bad. Yeah. Uh, Rock's caliber. Want me to try again? <laughs> uh, you guys can keep trying while well, Luna is just saying that, um... Oh, uh, you got it, you got it. Is that it? I would say, you, after some nudging and determination, you got the sword, but it's pretty rusted at this point. Oh, it looks like what it hasn't other... been maintenance, seen maintenance, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's been there for a century or two. So, oh, can I have it? Available. It's up to Speedy. Does he want to give it to you? Uh, I mean, how many weapons are there? <laughs> there um, you've you've six. We got say, a whole investigation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so far, you've gotten a sword. All right. Oh, wait, but well, I've actually. Uh, why am I not surprised? <laughs> More investigation. So there can is... can Nagi tell us then? What do you mean? Since uh, since Nagi got like fifteen. Okay, so there's probably another, um, another a small dagger under some rubble and a bow somewhere stashed in the shrubs. Okay, I'm gonna go for the bow. Anything then. else? That's about it from your distance. Oh wait, I wrote saving throw again. Uh, 13. Okay, so as you guys are trying to scramble to save these old rusted weapons, you hear, um, I need you all to roll dexterity. Oh uh, shit. Uh, a save? Dexterity save. Yeah, I'll go with that. All of us? Yeah, 19. A, like, oh, fuck you! Okay. Okay, so... 
Everyone <laughs> seems to fuckers. sense the magic attack from behind and dodge it easily. Except for Speedy. He um what were you trying to get, Speedy? I got the sword, I was just like checking to see the damage as I was yeah. putting it away. So as and you it... were investigating the damages of the sword, you don't notice the uh, the magic attack coming right at you and it lands by your feet, causing you to trip over. But just as... <laughs> yeah. Oh but I I did get the bow, right? Yeah, yeah, I would say you guys get the weapons. Okay. And as you turn around Club Domaniacs. I, I I gotta I gotta find a way around this. Um <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna steal the whole fucking school at this point. Well, it's less stealing and more like we should probably get these repaired. They look important. Yeah. 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 So hey, we're gonna, uh, we're more, uh, <laughs> you should give them a pipe bomb and blow them up. Teach oh them a lesson. <laughs> oh like, this one isn't even me being kleptomaniac. It's like legit. This area looks important. I think we should res uh, restore this weapon. These weapons. <laughs> so then you turn around and you see a bunch of wandering spirits. And they, um, oh shit! And then another m main spirit in the middle, and he speaks. I think this... Yep. What you do we know. have here? Four children and their pet cat out for a walk. Wait, four children. <laughs> yeah. All right, Five then I'm children. going to proceed to raise my middle finger. <laughs> Wait, <Luna just laughs> right, right to his face. Pet cat. Ain't that a greeting in uh, Australia? <laughs> <laughs> I would like to be um, speedy. Everyone's a human except for uh, Necker. He is a tapaxi. Yeah. So, yeah. That just killed me because, like, oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot. It's like, oh come on, Stepcat isn't a pet. He's more like uh... a wild animal. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, come on. Yeah, like a, I mean, a great... actually be able to control him. More stray honest. cat that follows us. Yeah, it's, he's not a pet. We can't control him. Actually, I can control him sometimes. <laughs> nah. He's my, he's my bitch in charisma saves. <laughs> God. All right, watch All right, this. So, we, so the divine, so the spirits of like, for the sake. All right, they, I, they, I'm, they, 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 this uh, is just for fun. All right, save. this is just for fun. Save. You failed. <laughs> You're my oh, bitch. <laughs> the only speaks. These ruins are sacred. What is your reason to be here? They're very strict. It is very strict. A light. Uh, light. Yeah, led us here. A celestial. Curiosity. One that gave us celestial energy. Hmm. You want to roll perception to get this guy on your good side. Perception. Uh, no, the, the, persuasion. Oh, persuasion. I'm sorry, I'm tired now. GG, I won. Hey, I finally get a good rolls on my shit stat. And you guys, I won though. You put, did you perhaps sense our presence? Impossible. Only people that can speak our language or train in our arts can see us, speak to us. Wait, speak? What language do you speak? I actually speak common and a little bit of celestial. <laughs> Heyo! So, does anyone want to know what language he is speaking in? Yeah. You guys can probably guess. <laughs> it's been, we've been sensing, uh, I've been sensing it all school. Ah, <laughs> uh, so, you're talented enough to sense our presence. You're perhaps a paladin, are you not? Training yeah. to be one. Yeah, actually, I am. <laughs> Paladin. <laughs> Paladin. Paladin. Well, I'm impressed that you're a young age. You're able to not only sense us but speak to us. Well, what are your names, mortals? He is a uh, Saxon. My name is Snake. That's a uh, Necker. <laughs> That's a uh, Rich Twiggy. <laughs> And I am still, I, I am still name. raising my middle finger at him. Are you sure he's not a pet? He seems to be misbehaving. Do you guys want to discipline him? 
Oh, All right, no. then now I raise my you second never into middle the finger. Field of four, they're um, a little bit hard to, uh, you know, tame. Yeah. Uh, Just be glad he hasn't knocked anything off any shelves yet. I mean, he looks yeah. pretty. Maybe you want to put a bell on his neck next time so we know uh, what exactly is he's doing. Now I'm going to take my dagger and throw it at him. Um, Neko, you see, oh, sure he's that. speaking in celestial and you don't understand yeah. him. Oh, that's true. <laughs> so unless you can get your other friends to translate for you, you won't be able to understand. Exactly. I mean, obviously you can, you know what I mean. Right, I'm gonna call for the translation. Translation, please. <laughs> Who wants to translate for Neko what's happening? I was just talking about... I mentioned that they... They noticed that you are a very bad. free spirit. <laughs> So, uh, I, I was like, yeah, we're just talking about the school and how uh, it's a free spirited school and stuff. Alright, then I seem disinterested. And then, right, and then he, so, he speaks, he speaks, to, he speaks common for just, just Necker. I said you're their bitch. Uh, pet, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> then now I raise both of my middle fingers. <laughs> You know what? Just keep it like that. Just keep flipping them off. They, they're not caring. It's a hilarious sight. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> and then he speaks in Wandering the spirits. Mm -hmm. My name is Leonardo. We can call him Saxon. You can do the same. My, my name is Clevermore, God of the Dead. I walk these mortal planes in search of someone, as well as looking for lost souls like these ones. He... He puts he points behind him. It's a couple of spirits following him. Oh, uh, before we continue, what happened to Luna? Did she leave? She, oh, she's she's still here. She's just listening. Remember, yeah, she's she's, she's children. Children. not saying a thing. Okay. She's, uh, wow. She goes. She's and she's Wait. just like going. So it's true. The deities still walk among the mortal planes. I look at uh Saxon and like try using your. Divine sense. See if uh, it's all celestials around us. I get a feeling I may am going to sense one, but wait, that's the wrong button. There's you sense a lot of celestial energy, and it's coming from right in front of you. It's coming from Clevermov. Clevermov. He, yeah, he's very right when he calls himself one of the dead. He's uh, a bit uh, blinding right now. Uh, my guy shakes his head and to, shakes his head to uh, shake off the divine sense, so he's not getting overwhelmed. Yes, it's a it's a real deal here. It's a celestial. I'm not sure it's the same one I've been sensing throughout the school, though. But he is definitely definitely a big cheese. <laughs> what about evil presence? Any evil presence? No evil. Okay, so I guess uh, Luna's safe then. Mm. Luna's indeed safe. She's a bit shocked because this is the first time she's seen a deity. Um, but she's like not surprised by it either. It's like she's used to these strange celestial uh, occurrences. I asked the celestials if they know anything about who created the school. Hmm. We Me unfortunately my have... with the god. <laughs> We don't really mess with the human infrastructure. This school, perhaps it was built. Who knows how long we've been wandering this plane for thousands of years that we cannot recall a set date of time when this human infrastructure, this annoying building was built. Hmm. Uh, Bargast uh, takes note of this info. <laughs> we are deities of a forgotten lost time. Most people that pass here don't stop for long. But yet, we sensed something coming from this area, and I, besides collecting the dead along the way, decided to stop here and now talking to mortals that speak my language. Hmm. Do you have any idea who built these 
ruins just gesturing around the the um crumbling statues and such he... of varying superior. Well, I would assume it would be the mortals, us deities don't mess around with pleasantries or formalities of work building a statue. Perhaps it was one of our many worshippers over the years. There's no art signature. That's what you call it, right? Signature on the art. Mm. Uh, no. Perhaps many of our one, many of our worshippers, I suppose. Uh, you mentioned you sent something else that wasn't us correct it's coming from this area it's certainly near like a living being I sense its presence in fact I normally do not come to speak with mortals, but the presence is coming from perhaps that direction. He points back towards the school, and you guys are like far away. You can see the roof of the Mezzanotto Academy just peeking through the trees. There's a, some energy coming from that area. And I look at uh, our guys, looks at Tokumi. It's like I get the feeling somebody wanted us to be here at this moment. <laughs> Could it be the founder? I mean... You know, I wouldn't put it past it at this point. Something about the founder is... It's like... There's just something about the mystery of the founder that's gotten me... Both curious and slightly concerned. Like... I feel like there's something that needs to be known. But no, somebody else doesn't want it to be known. Well, so far, the only thing we know is, uh... The principal wants us to find something on the founder. We sense an evil presence whenever Miss is around. And this curse of the founder was happening before we even knew anything about the founder. I asked the spirits if he's seen any students who've come here in the past. This is not a common area for any mortal. You are the first to come to these ruins. <clears throat> are the only people, I say people, things that come here are these lost, lost wandering spirits. I come here often to collect their lost souls from these forests. I mean, you should thank me. If I did not do it, these forests would be haunted years and thousands of years ago. You know this what? Is... Yeah, no point. Great job. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As somebody who grew up near a forest, yeah, the very near a forest, yeah, yeah that's that's a very good thing. <laughs> All right, so we're the only students so far who have come here because of a celestial presence. There's got to be some meaning to why we're here, as to why the celestial called us here to meet with you, or you know, it's just like one big coincidence, and you know. No one believes in a coincidence. I feel like at you some are, point... You are a wise man. He points at... And, he, and then he looks at um, uh, Leonardo, who hasn't said anything for a while. What about you, young boy? Do you agree with your companions here? That perhaps a celestial presence has brought you to my attention? Maybe. Uh... I'm still driven by curiosity, though, to learn more. Hey, what are you curious about, young boy? So, I've just got the mental image of all of us having the serious insightful discussion, and Neko is just still standing there, double flipping him off. <laughs> Wait, so Nagi speaks uh, Celestial as well? Mm hmm. Oh. Wait, so everyone but Neko speaks on that <laughs> Like I said, this is just so funny. Deep, insightful discussion. Neko is just standing there. It's like... <laughs> I'm so <laughs> sorry, Neko. I can't involve you in this. You can always speak to the god if you like. He'll speak in common for you. Somebody needs to draw... We need to... I, somebody needs to draw this. This is hilarious. 
I no, mean, it's all right. I'm I, I'm completely fine here. Just double flipping him off. <laughs> just just taunting him behind your backs. He's like, I, I like this cat of yours. It's very amusing. <laughs> and then I I ask for a translation. Sick. We don't think this was a coincidence. It doesn't seem like it. It feels like somebody wanted us to meet you. Uh, can I just use Thieves Khan with M for a bit? Yeah, go for it. Alright, so then I hand signal to him, like, uh, can you ask the spirit if he can, like, refine, like, reforge weapons or something? I don't know, just, just find a way or something. You know what, that's a very good idea. I, uh, I think the back's like, yeah, sure, no worries. I look at the spirit. Do you know anyone who can reforge ancient weapons or, you know, craft ancient weapons? He's thinking for a moment, I'm the god of death, not the god of transactions. I will... Yeah, as the god of death, you know everyone who's about to die, which means you technically know what their skills are as well. That is true. That I do know some spirits that are crafty, but some of them, the when you see mortals, when you pass away, you you're not the person you used to be. You might be fine and dandy. Or perhaps depending on the way you die, you'll be might be full of revenge and anger, and you can't fix a thing at all. I... Well, guys, just has a certain moment. He's thinking to himself. Well, what about anyone who's I... alive at the moment? I... Yeah, hearing alive. Bow guy suddenly perks up and remembers something. Do you know anyone? Who's I think alive? I remember Miss mentioning she knows mending. But the mm. mending work on an ancient weapon. You'll. I would suggest you start with this Miss Person. Unless so you are students of that school. Surely there oh, must be someone well equipped with the knowledge to aid you with your restoration problems. Meanwhile I have to find someone. Okay, so look, looks so like Liam Sake. Yeah, I think we should uh, probably head back now. Mm -hmm. So uh, on our on our way out, I'm still continuously double flipping <laughs> the spirit. Nagi, is there anything you want to ask a god before we leave? Yeah, while he's gonna ask, I use Thieves Khan to tell uh, Neko that the gods say probably miss. Hmm. All right, Nagi. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Oh wait, then, hold up, I'm, I'm gonna thieves come to M. Can you just tell the god, tell the, the spirit I said, fuck you? <laughs> I think <laughs> the message is quite clear. <laughs> uh, the spirit said, the cat said meow. <laughs> uh, I, I got nothing, honestly. I'm gonna keep well, it to myself. And then he uh, he looks at you and he gets a sense of you're looking for someone, aren't you? Yeah. I wanna say we're perhaps looking for the same person. I have a sense you remind me of her. Hmm. Our guys takes a mental note of this uh, exchange. <laughs> All I can say is continue your search, young boy. And if you ever want to know where she could be, there's no better place than to ask a god now, is there? I am the god of death. If. And if they are no longer here with us. I'll be the first to know, don't you think? Alright, then I have one question. Ask away, young child. My book states that... Mistra was the goddess. But... 
What does that mean now? Mr. He ponders for a moment. That is a name I have not heard in a long, a long time. But yes, if your animated book is any good reference to go by, she was indeed the goddess of magic. She's been missing for over a thousand years, and none of us gods have no idea where she is. Some of us have given up, some of us have forgotten her completely. I, on the other hand, have decided to look for her because, well, he mixed it up from collecting souls for all these years. Well, I think she's closer than you guys think, considering every time he prays to her, something good happens. Oh. Uh, just that guy safe here and I was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I am sorry if that's not the news you'd like to hear, little boy, but the goddess of magic is missing. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for everything. Alright. Seriously. <laughs> and, um... I think we need to make a stop by the infirmary. Or at least one of us. <laughs> you. No, no, no. We yeah. Make a divine sense check. Sense evil, be scared, die. We, we can all go, and uh, me and Necker can uh, look for the student that got hurt and uh, see if he's okay. No, 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 no. Oh, mm. Yes, yes, that's such a good idea. <laughs> what could possibly are... be wrong? As you guys are about to leave, the spirits that are with a clever more are starting to get uneasy and are feeling some irritation. And he just seems, oh dear, it seems that whatever presence has drawn me and these spirits here is upsetting them. Do you mind knocking them out for me? Don't worry, there will be a reward. I don't like owing anyone. Do you accept this? Wait, a oh guys, takes a deep sigh. The spirits All are right. getting irritated from this place and well, Clevmore doesn't seem to be very have the energy to deal with them so he's asking if you guys would want to take it the quest <laughs> yeah. is uh the guys actually Clubmore translate this one my book hmm? is club more being added into my book uh yeah i'll add him into the book he's the god of death yeah of course he'll be added to the book i'll add it after this session all right <laughs> just no information i like to bow guys to translate this time to neko it says he wants to know if you want to try and stab some spirits. So he hates, uh, deaths. And I proceed to say, Yes. Uh, tell, tell him I say- Fuck you. Wait, hang on, no. Yeah, he yeah. Me, he hello? says me now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the spirit is asking you if you want to hurt people for a reward. I think, uh, Neko will be happy for that. Uh, I want a specific reward. Like, what's it? Can you help me ask? Okay. It's a god well, there's only death. one way to find out. <laughs> it's a god of death. I think the reward is letting us live. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> Your reward is that you have to breathe. Continue to live in this mortal plane. But the thing plane. is that I don't know. I don't know it's a god of death. You guys are uh, you got to translate for him. I said to Necker that that is a god of death, and uh, he said. And he he waves like hi. And then I'm gonna say that's that's fucking cap. <laughs> <laughs> so do you guys want to help the god of death or not? Sure. But yeah, sure. I'll I'll I'll, I'll stab. I'll stab. I'll do my job. I think it's part of a plan's job to settle the restless spirits anyway. So. Uh, before the battle starts, I'd like to ask the God of Death, can we actually attack the spirits with our mortal weapons? Or do we need a specific type of weapon? Well, since these um, spirits are irritated and out of their mind, normal, and actually, hmm, he thinks, hold on a second, and then he waves his hands and it's like, for now, your weapons, babe, I've blessed your weapons for this battle only, to hit the spirits until they've calmed down. Uh, but after after you leave these ruins, they're back to your average, pathetic mortal weapons. 
I mean, I do have divine smite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're fine. <laughs> yeah. And that's where our session will end today. Fun. Fun. So, Fun. Uh, um, I hope the storytelling so, was alright. <laughs> we ended off with something strange going down the neighborhood. Yes. So it's time to come after this, to after this session. Rock, I have finally yes, found my true is. goal. What is it? To kill that bastard. <laughs> but he thinks you're cute! I'm no, not surprised man. the guy that likes the cat. <laughs> like, can we put a bell on him, please? <laughs> that guy is going down, dude. <laughs> that would, it would make him roll disadvantage on his, uh... No, it would automatically make him fail his stealth checks. Oh my god. Ding, ding. <laughs> Is there a cat nearby? <laughs> you dead. Good luck on your stealth rolls. That was fun though. <laughs> so you, for the recap, um, you've you've heard the book has mentioned Cyric, the god of lies, trickery, and strife. Clevmore, the god of death, and Mistra, the goddess of magic, is currently missing. And that um, when you try to find out the statue, if she has a statue, the book was un physically unable to open the page. But yeah. Did we get that's... any XP from the previous battle? Oh, yes, of course. I'll add it later. EXP, 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 EXP. How much EXP you guys would have gotten from that fight? Um. So the books were a hundred EXP each, and you guys knocked out five. Is that five hundred EXP to you guys? Nice. EXP, EXP, EXP. So feel free to EXP. Add, feel free to add that to your character sheet, and I will check next session if you guys leveled up or not. And uh, yeah, it's not letting me level it up right now. Or oh, oh wait, there we go. There's points there. So five hundred, eight hundred twenty-five. Is that a level? <laughs> Yeah, no, think, uh, not yet. No. Experience points. Experience points. In total, you have 800 something, right? Yeah, yeah. 825 okay. total. Okay, yep. No, still level 2, guys. Sorry. So I'm guessing this next fight will get us there. Yes, you'll be level 3 by Nick. By. Yeah. How late is it for you guys right now? It's like, it's like 12 a.m. Yeah. 3 a.m. And Thankfully, I'm... I've got the evening shift, so I can actually sleep in, so I'm fine. I Thankfully, I'm, a, I'm an American, time anyway. so... Uh, I am privileged. Oh, yeah, I guess, uh, dude, dude. I've got evening shifts all weekend, call. for this weekend <sighs> and the next. Uh, and I can't hear you. Yeah, I'll tell you not to add a call. Alright, chat. Sorry. All right. So if it, if I miss anything added to your character sheet, uh, let me know and I'll add it. Uh, I'm a forgetful person. But yeah, next session oh. we might start on a Friday, not Saturday, because. Uh, okay. Friday. Yes. Okay. yes, Friday. Friday same time, ten thirty, I reckon. Mm, I could. Are you? Do oh, that. do you guys have any plans on a Friday? I've uh, got another no. evening shift, but. As long as it's like before nine thirty, I can. Uh, oh, after as long as the uh, session starts after nine thirty in my in um, <laughs> Eastern Australia time zone, I'm good. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't have something until happening like afternoon for me, so that's good. So it's fine All on right. Friday then. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, thank everyone for coming to listen to the stream. Thank you, Kudu. Thank you, Bye, Tristan. Chat. Thank you, uh, Seraph. I guys, uh, thank you for lurking, dropping by. I. Where's Tato? Oh, I don't know what he's doing these days. Hopefully, he can drop Just... by soon. 
It's just like Mistra. Gone. <laughs> Thank you for hosting the no problem. I'm I'm, I'm Alright, <laughs> bye chat. I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow or Monday. Maybe we'll see what we're playing then. Goodbye everyone. That is all. Bye. Bye.